those things to the public, when we engage people to help us, they say we are fools. They see us as people who are fools. That means you are doing this struggle, you don't even know what is happening. They want to deceive the whole leadership to believe that my husband the Colonel was on transit or this thing taken from the airport. This thing taken from the airport. But I'm not going into deep to that. I'm just trying to say they wanted every IPOB member to go out there shouting he was on transit, he was on transit. This is what they have in their agenda. When you are talking in this way, how do you think people will look at you? Will they see you people are serious? You know you people are far from the truth. They made us to believe, oh, it is Uhuru Kenyatta. But let me tell the fans today, the president of Kenya at that time, Uhuru Kenyatta, did not know what happened to Mazen Mandekano. After we have pursued this case, the way we mount pressure, Uhuru Kenyatta took a very decisive step trying to avoid what happened to Mandekano in Kenya. Hence, roll. Hence, roll. Because Kenya has spent over $300 million or $300 million shillings trying to project Kenya. They were looking for a United Nations seat, security council seat. They have tried to project Kenya in a very good light. Suddenly, the problem of Ireland and the Kano hit. Who was behind it? I will repeat it here. Emo politicians. Emo politicians. I don't want to mention them, but if, if they know, that we know all of them that went to wedding of the son of the daughter of Ruto, married by this daughter of Adama, we know. All of them will. They all knew Madden and the Kano. Do you understand me? They all knew these plans. Guru Kenyatta, he picked up the director of intelligence of Kenya, external affairs. This man is safe. He was detained. He was expelled. He picked up the director of airports. They were detained. They were expelled. Safe. Did all this deal with the Nigerian ambassador, Rwanda, and with some women, and with some women, and the, when they adopted Mazen, when they adopted Mazen and the Yano, they were expecting them, they were supposed to be, they were Mazen and the Yano, they were Mazen and the Yano, before that it was a deal of nothing, 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 but because, because the money was not complete, they insisted to add money for them. And at that time, they were, these people were snapping Marvin and the Kano on where they should not be, and they were sending them. We say they have the pictures. Yes, or we say all of them, but they all have those Because they were sending them for them to complete the money that they have gotten Marvin and the Kano. I am telling you, and I am going to stop there. But I want so the students of Oyen do to stop blackmailing people. They knew what happened to Martin Landesano. And the Jesus knew they knew. The human politicians know they knew. But they were trying to deceive the others. Shouting, shouting, DOS is sold Martin Landesano. They and their agents in America. Some of them were going to visit Mazen and the Kano there. They don't want to talk about it. The day they, they will touch me, I, my respect is for Mazen and the Kano and the those who have died in this struggle. 
all of them that was visiting him. Who knows? I will mention their names. We have it. We collected every list. We have it in our hand. Because of that, the mother of Uhuru Kenyatta, who is the wife of Kenyatta, the woman wept and we changed the name. When the name of his son was changed the name Uhuru. He wept. Even the son that was controlled during the he was invited. He was asked to make a written report what he knows about Mazen and the family. People were arrested, many people. And these people continue to distract their friends so that we cannot be able to force. Coming back to that. They use it to manipulate, to find where IPOB officers, what are they communicating, is the Mazen and the Khan telling them all the it's everything the DSS have it. And uh, these people know as they check if the system is going on well, people are telling me check the system. Mars, the, the voice is okay. I don't know why people are giving. Okay, I okay. don't know. Please, people okay. should stop calling me. We are in a serious business. I hate this. People are calling and they are interrupting your your flow. Please look at your voice. Mars, ma, ma, yes, okay. Go on. Mars, now when these things are all happening, the leadership might be because you know when they accuse you of something you don't know. When they accuse you that you sold Mazen on the camera, people were killed because of this. In the actual land, many IPOB members were killed because they were supporting the DOS, that the DOS didn't know anything pertaining to killing of Mazen on the camera. We have the list of people they killed because they saw that the DOS and the God in heaven knows may the soul of those guys rest in peace. They were marched down. And these people will turn around, come and tell, let me tell you, the lies they continue to feed Mazen on the Kano in his head can mislead the leader. Because they continue to feed them lies. These people feeding lies are not an IPOB. They don't even communicate with IPOB leadership principal officers. And whatever they concoct, they take it and feed Mazen on the Kano. They let Mazen and the Kano know that the leadership of the Southern IPOB have destroyed worldwide. No more. That we have hijacked the radio. We have done this. We have done that. This lies, they continue to feed the leader. And when you continue to feed the leader with lies, the only time Mazen and the Kano, I will tell you, he got himself was last time Jeremy uh, Madhubu who visited him and made some clarifications. If you see from that time, things slow down because he now understands what is happening. But what I'm saying, every lies, every thing, all the rubbish, some of them have said, the DSS have it. And that is the basis of their manipulation, of keeping them. They saw the edda in the siblings of only the to destroy the DOS. They saw the edda of the agents of the people as the infidels to destroy the DOS. They shot it. They shot they were doing a perfect job. It was just a matter of time they would destroy the leadership of IPO. They know. They know it was a matter of time that they would destroy the leadership of IPO. So they used to be happy. When their mother called and said those lies, they say, yes, that is good. Let them continue. Let them fight themselves. Let them continue fighting themselves. They set up attack from everywhere. So destroy the leadership. Thinking as if they destroy IPO, that the government will leave Martin and the Kano, or they could be able to take over the struggle. We are not, we didn't jump to the leadership just because they are adopted Martin and the Kano. We have been there. I am a member of the GOS since 2017. Keith Josiel has been there. He was the secretary of the GOS even before we joined. Chupo Gautama has been there. So this Rumiko has been there? Many of them. So, I, they continue to do this and what is surrounding Mazen and the countries. Now, 
the first thing if your forefather that this case is getting bigger, it's very sophisticated. You brought in Michael Zekoma. Michael Zekoma is there. He has gotten any judgment any lawyer can get out to you, can get in this case. If anybody don't know, you should know. Discharge an architect. Never to be tried in any court of law. What kind of judgment again do you want from a court of law? What kind of judgment do you want? Upon this judgment, they are not contented because of the hate rate. Instead of to give a support, even if they want to bring the chance, they can bring 10 chance. Of course, when they do have the right to say, I don't want this chance, only do have the right to say, I want to add more sand. Talk to him. Nobody opposes that. But what I'm saying is that in this particular stage we are, we need to be very, very careful. You don't bring another sand to hit another sand. Two of them will go back to their chambers and fix things right. And abandon them and the there. Everybody have to know that. You don't bring another sand to hit another sand. The two of them can easily, the government will call them, the bar association, the assigned will we call them and put them in the right path. And Madam Americano will become the scapegoat. We are not against bringing any son, but what we are against is the approach and the method. The more you are putting these confusions, the more the DSS is seeing that you have the hatred and that you want this person destroyed, you want this person destroyed. They work on that practice. They use it. They use it against us. It helps them to play the chase. They say, no, we are still getting there. I used to advocate this. There are people that have done a lot for this struggle. They might not be IPOB members. People like the legal team, they have done a lot. People may have their weaknesses. People have been uh, assassination attempts have been carried out against people because of Mazel and the Tano, and they continue. How is it not? So give people support. I am happy today if they will tell themselves the truth. Because the next thing when you see on is that yes, they have won a case already in their peer courts. Then the same accusation in civilians of who was leveling on us, how we showed Mazena, you you hear what people used to say. And the, do you know the people that normally say this is people that always go to their compound. We know all of them. All the people that they gather in Tumara Biafra in their compound, these are people who bring, if the Chinas are all VOS and the Chief of Legion, they are the one who bring them down the camera. When they talk that one is not enough, they say that it's a Jiofo and the Zekome is the one who bring them down the camera in the ocean. This is they gather in Tumara Biafra in their compound, these are people who bring, if the Chinas are all VOS and the Chief of Legion, they are the one who bring them down the camera. When they talk that one is not enough, they say that it's a Jiofo and the Zekome is the one holding it down the camera in the ocean.
I'm like, you're about to call you now. Good morning. I'm a, good morning. Chichi, Chichi, I just saw your WhatsApp message. Uh, no, I will call my, I will call Mr. Ibudlo, the head of admin. Uh, so that if it is, therefore, if it is for her to scan those documents, uh, they just scan it to me, then I will forward it to, uh, to uh, them. Uh, then I will, I will, I will obtain the, the, the date to come and start. Uh, uh, you uh, know, the, he's a family man, he's still asleep. Yeah, you know, yeah. No, I was a, this is what I wanted us to talk yesterday, but you say you were yes. to come back. Yes, I went to Oaxaca. One of my friends, one Igbo guy, so his uh, his wife is celebrating uh, their baby's birthday, and they say I must be here. So that so, was why so, I so, let me call so, you. Back. So you have Igbo friends? I have a lot of them now. You have uh, a lot. You have a them. lot of them. Ah, uh, let me say. <laughs> if I go, if I go to, if I go to trade fair now, uh, this is what do they call it? If I enter trade fair, I don't buy cosmetic now. Right? That is the direction. Uh, <laughs> but, I have a lot of them in Allah, but you say. But but you have my friends are. Uh, uh, but uh, you have you have them like this. But yes, uh, you you just stand uh, behind Buhari Bugidam. Uh, because if you are not, if you don't befriend an evil man, you are lost already. <laughs> you understand? Know I don't understand. The, I don't the, understand. You see, 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 you know, they are born with it. So, uh, some of us, you know, we came to meet the Igbos in a country called Nigeria. You know, they are the original, uh, listen, Inhabitant. because they are, they, they, they originated from the Kemet Empire. You understand? Know, and that is why they think, because the secret of this world is in the hands of Igbos. You don't know? Don't know. Eh? Because they say, make, make them no brain for their life. I bought for their life because I guess <laughs> so, okay, well, there is nothing. You, you, say, you say he bought, he bought for a rise in first pack. In first pack yesterday. And they must bring it. It's 16,500. <laughs> you know, whether they like it or not, you, you know, there is one thing people don't understand. The end of the say, make the bad motto. You know, so they just say they do motto. You know, it was, they are the Jews, they are the black Jews. And the Jews, even then, they themselves are afraid of Igbos. That is why they refuse to claim them as Jews. Because they have the same DNA. <laughs> even the same Jews are afraid of Igbos. They are even they are afraid of Igbos. You don't know. <laughs> you know my you know my younger brother, you know my my, my media younger brother, uh, he's a he's a major in the in in uh, Directors of Military Intelligence. He's now Nigerian Nigerian military attaché to Nigerian High Commission in Pakistan. They went for me, one, one intelligent gathering one time. You know, Afghanistan bordered, uh, Pakistan bordered Afghanistan. Uh, you know that they went to a village in Peshawar. They met Igbo guys entering Afghanistan. What are they going to do? You can't ask a Jew to go to Afghanistan the way it is. So Igbos, they are like that. So the only thing is that when you befriend them, they will vomit the little things you will need to know to survive. They will vomit it to you. I'm working, my MD, the MD of my company is an Igbo man now from, uh, what they call it? He's, uh, you know that I am now. Now his son is my, is the MD of my company. Uh, you understand? There was a time where we would spend more than two years. He was still paying our salary and we're not getting, we're not getting a contract. Is that not mystery? Is it? <laughs> Is that you know that I am now. That is, is, is that not mystery? It's a mystery now. P paying salary. Uh, paying salary, and you are not getting any contracts. <laughs> and he was he even increased salary that period. <laughs> you see? <laughs> and nobody knows. There was a time even Board of Internal Revenue came to lock our office. They say this man get oil blood. He got oil well. They say he get this. He get that. If they say make him pay tax, he will pay. Even if they say make you pay one billion, he will pay. Is that not mystery? <laughs> is, it, is there is anybody you will share on this earth is Igbos? I'm is surprised. It? I'm surprised to be hearing this thing from you. No, nah, Igbo, Igbo, yeah. Upon all the fight, upon all this fight, uh, where are the fights with you? Ah, uh, oh. Is, is it? Let me tell you one thing. Do you know why Babangida remain relevant in Nigeria? No. Uh, it's because. He dined and wine with the Igbos. And that is why he remained relevant in Nigeria. 
You know when Baba Ida was head of state, if he visit any state, he don't go to Bombay house. He sleep like in an individual Igbo house. You don't know. <laughs> so, and he's, he's, he's always, he's a free Nigerian. Have you ever had any assassinated, assassination attempt on, uh, on, uh, on Baba Ida before? After he left power? No, I've not. Uh-huh. Is it like, there is one thing people don't understand. And that is why Buhari is finding it difficult. He say dollar this, he say this, this, And the rate at which even people are bringing in things into Nigeria is even more than when our border is, is over. <laughs> and so, who is, who is, who is fully over? That is the end of it, that is the You know that in my state now, the biggest rice farmers are Igbos. They don't push our people out of farms. Right? Now then they farm rice now in Niger State. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ibo, that is the, is it, like, like, yeah, of course. Now, then they farm rice now. Nah. Even rice now, nah, then they buy local rice in the north. The Rausa man has money to buy local rice. And you know, that is why uh, the other tribes hate Ibos. Because they don't know how they make their money. Being this is how they took over first tax. They are like Jews. You don't like what are the Hitler did to the Jews in Germany. Before you know, after the First World War, before the Second World War, the whole Germans were paying tax to him, to, to, to the Jews. Jews. Uh-huh. Even government was, was paying, was paying tax to the Jews because they were taking over Germany. You see? <laughs> the, the Igbo guys, they arrested in the airport with, with gold, what one billion. <laughs> we didn't carry Igbo man, the big boat, gold for Jamfara. <laughs> Did the other man know where they said gold? <laughs> yeah. how some man know where the goes? But but where why are they relegating Igbo man? There is nothing yeah. we do. Every government policy is targeted uh, against Igbo man. The, that is, you see, let me tell you, the easiest way you can survive in Nigeria. Your your, you see, let me tell you, it is when you push an Igbo man that is when you tend to survive. So when you push them, look at LG. Uh, for honey. You know Fani is not making money again. This matter I owe LG is a distributor. Because LG now, if you go if they are selling LG smart T V here in Fani for one hundred forty thousand, if you go to Alaba it's hundred thousand. I nobody know where they are bringing it from. Is it? <laughs> is it is recently, uh, recently I want to pack my fridge. The my old fridge. Yeah. I went to Alaba, they did the cattle for me in my present. Correct one, original cut of this. You see? And you want this kind of people to go to Asura? I will be in trouble. <laughs> huh? they, 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 what is it called? It's just like Arabs. Now, Arabs, they are the mercy in the hands of the Jews. And Israel is a very small, small country that their population is up to 6 million. Look at the, the, as big as Saudi Arabia. Have you ever had Saudi Arabia don't fight Israel before? Now they control Arabs now. And you want us so that he will give our sort of man to his woman. They will just turn northern Nigeria to broad day, broad day like a prison. It's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have people know? They don't know anything. Huh? <laughs> I saw, I saw this uh, in four days what happened today. Eh? I saw what the fuck hey, what's up today? Um uh-huh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you see, you see, that, that was a mistake Buhari made when Buhari came in as president. Had he been he won Nigeria to move faster, about, I swear to God he would have he would have hold a town hall meeting in southeastern Nigeria. Tell the Igbo religious leaders, the business leaders, and tell them that they should support his government. You understand? Uh, they will know even anywhere dollar is. They will go and bring dollar to push his uh, his government. Say he don't want to do it. He don't want to have anything to do with people. Look at where we are today. You know what's going on? Because you know if you are talking about criminals in the world, America is the number one criminal country in the world. You didn't know that. Followed by Israel. Uh huh. Because if it is the evil that will teach you the sense, they will tell you that this is what you are supposed to do to so succeed. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, 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 so you, you know that the, the, the that the Igbos are really uh, pushed to a tight corner in Nigeria, that the Igbos are, are just on the fringes of uh, uh, being uh, uh, sent to death or... We should not lie to ourselves. 
if you are talking about the real sector of the economy, you know it is evil that shape the economy. You don't know. Because if you go to Madelas now, you go to Alaba, you go to Ladigo, you will see person, just a young boy will count fifty hundred thousand dollars, put it inside pocket, they go to China, they go bring something. You know if Bavangira I didn't mean Buhari has friends, that two thousand and fifteen when he became he would have called five, ten Igbo businessmen and tell them that we want light in Nigeria. And you know, I review the license where they give all these discos. Would by now would have gotten light because Igbo will go to Germany, they will go to anywhere and bring light to Nigeria. I tell you, all those importers of uh, generator, see, we don't want generator in Nigeria. I beg, we need light. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> see, see this guy. Do you know there is one thing that people don't understand? There is what there is. Man, this man they call Badunaji. Maybe you've heard of him. Badunaji from uh, 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 do you know why they push him out? Do you know in Nigeria currently Batinaji is generating over 10,000 megawatts of electricity? But do you, do you know that? Close to you, now, you know there is a place they call, uh, they, he has a company. He has a company in Abia that is, that is, he has built it already. Federal government refused to buy the electricity. Huh? You know he's one of the best uh, engineers in America. They brought him from America now. Batunaji. You don't know Batunaji? I know him now. Former yeah. uh, of uh, Je Jeneta, Jeneta, Jeneta forced him to resign. Yeah, because he wants to give us light. And the, the, the evil who has been preventing Nigeria from getting light advised Jonathan to drive the man. You know that there is a company they call Geometrics. As I'm putting to you, if you go to Abia, they have one of the largest single private owned electricity generating plants in Nigeria. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, of course now. And and, and and the electricity uh, that generating, where where are they using them? You no, know, he's selling it to individuals in Abia. Yes, not only in Abia. He has he transfer electricity to other places. He said, just browse geometrics. You see it now online. Geometrics. He's the owner of geometrics. And another thing, where Buhari made me think is that it is people that have had. If you go to Saudi Arabia. You know this Saudi crown prince. Most of his friends are black. When Buhari went to Saudi Arabia, the person that led that that, that move uh, Saudi crown prince to Buhari is an Igbo guy now. Hey, yeah. now nah, this guy, now nah, this guy, but he got a crown, Saudi crown prince met the guy in America. You understand? Eh? Uh huh. Even Saudi, you know Saudi Arabia, they are state oil company. They want to privatize it now. The one percent is Nigerian that want to buy that one percent of their shares, and it's an Igbo man. Hey, I never know all these things, sir. I, uh, I, I, you know, there is one thing is that you see, there is, there is one thing you don't understand. If this refinery will work, if if Buhari tell Igbo people say, I want to refine, you know, this man why they call Ibeto. Uh. You know, Ibeto has a chemical plant in Houston, in America. Uh. You know, my brother now is the director of DPR. You know, he's the current head of DPR. And mm -hmm. Ibeto came to meet him that he has he has capacity that he can bring people to come and build refinery bigger than that of Dangote. But you know it is Dangote that push him out of Nigeria. Yes, I know. Ibeto. Uh -huh. Do you know that Ibeto up to now Ibeto is paying more than one million US dollars on high sea. His cement are still on high sea. He wanted to flood Nigeria market in cement at one dollar per bag. <laughs> And we would all you know, you want people if if people want to rule Nigeria, we don't enter trouble now. Not that as Europe the French people they even deal with our Yoruba. And that is why Yoruba will if Yoruba would never open his uh allow Igbo man to become president. It's not possible. Sir. So you now you now know that uh Dangote is ripping us. Yeah, of course now. Uh, <laughs> all the government, all the government cement company, not being the seller until uh, Benue Cement, Ashaka and Sokoto Cement. <laughs> now, I'm by him now. Wow. I'm surprised, uh, I'm surprised that you know all these things. Yes, every day we are fighting on social media. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You see, let me tell you, if Buhari, if Buhari can walk up today and pick like five people people and say, I beg, please, I want you to support my government. Nigeria will change within its people of our life. People will start shouting, ah, where this matter? You know, you don't want to have anything to do with evil. And that is why his government is going down. So you know his government is going down? He's going down now. We're not moving forward. <laughs> uh.
<laughs> well, I don't want, you see, we need to tell ourselves the truth. Uh, see, let me tell you, look at, uh, look at this Cosmos Maduka. Uh, do you know Cosmos Maduka? Do you know he's the, he's the only importer of uh, what they call BMW? Most yes, of these uh, are big cars. Yes, I know. From in, in the whole of Africa. Yes, I know. You know, he's a, fr he's a friend of uh, King of Morocco. He's a great friend of Soko Somali. What room did Buhari know? That is the problem we don't have. We, we have. <laughs> and that is why you see that even Tinubu is there. He knows that if Tinubu picked APC ticket as president today, he will not vote for him. <laughs> uh, uh, we didn't vote for Buhari now. So uh, Tinubu is capitalizing. That's why he is putting, planting his men that you can do away with Igbos. No, Northern has to deal with him. You see, a Northern has even prefer to move with an Igbo man than a Yoruba man. You know, an Igbo, if an Igbo man gets money, if an Igbo man gets one million dollars, you go to say he don't get one million dollars. <laughs> and if Igbo man, you see, if Igbo man won't take action, he can easily open his eye and tell you that this is what I'm going to do. Is that not what uh, Awolo did to Ojuku? Ojuku, you know, it was Ojuku that went to release Awolo from prison. Yes, man. When they sent him to life in prison. When Ujuku became a uh, governor of uh, East Arizona, the first thing he did was to was to was to go and release Awolo. Is it not the same Awolo that killed him? Is it not the same Awolo that killed him? <laughs> he went and told Awolo that he would go and declare the after. Then uh, he said Awolo should go and declare his own. Well, what did Awolo told you? Awolo said declare first. When he declare first, I will declare. The next thing Awolo became minister of finance to on. Uh, and I know I wonder what he's saying that okay. He said that uh, if you declare that uh, when you declare, did you tell him that you have declared? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, 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 you see, Buhari, Buhari made the greatest mistake of his life. I swear to God, you know, you know why Igbos are crying. Igbos, they are not even interested to be present on it. Just create a neighboring environment, make them do their business. You know, they are Jews. Religion is not really their problem. You have you ever had any Igbo man fighting for religion? <laughs> they, are not relig they are not religious. What they need is comfort of life. If they just get comfort. Look at uh, Prince Arthur, is it? This man that has uh, Oranto oil and gas. Uh. Why do you don't want to have anything to do with him? And this man, you know, this is somebody that if, if Rolls Royce want to, want to create a car today, they want to build a car today, they will contact him. Whether if he's interested. You know he's only in Nigeria now driving 2019 Rolls Royce. Uh -huh. You know what? You don't want to have anything to do with him. Most Igbos are businessmen. If Bari, you know, he has a Bari has a problem. If, if I were the president of Nigeria, do you know one thing? I would select every southeastern state to have like three billionaires. What do you say? If they, if, I, if they want to call me, they have my number. You know, an Igbo man just want the recognition. Say, ah, <laughs> this man, the call president of Nigeria to do. Everybody will rally him. And he would like to make... He, 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 nothing will happen to you. This is great. So what is it? Is he ordinary? Is yeah. <laughs> he ordinary? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, IBB, true, IBB left, uh, left power 1992. Even of recent, he started falling sick. He has been a relevant person. Because of, his, con con him? Because of his con connection with he was. Yeah, of course now. Yeah, IBB can come to Lagos today. He will go and sleep in Alaba. He can sleep anyhow. <laughs> you know if any Igbo man see IBB himself, and IBB can't sleep for you. You know they, they, they you know and he, you know Buhari failed to study the the mentality of Igbo. And that is why he's trying to this because Igbo don't Igbo is not interested, say I want to be president. Just create an enabling environment for them, make them do their business. That is all. But, uh, why, why are they not bringing people like you nearer to the seat of power? So that you talk, a useless man. So, so you, talk sense. Man. you talk sense you to some of your people. You don't get sense. <laughs> you know the Chinese, as I'm talking to you now, if you go to this ongoing Lagos International Trade Fair, now because of evil, Thai, Taiwanese, all these Thailand, all these uh, Chinese, they come for trade fair now. Who they buy Chinese franchise? Not the evil people. If 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 Buhari, if this agricultural revolution he is even talking about, the people that would have helped him, helped his government to grow agri in Nigeria would have been able. You what you need to do is to tell them, make the build silos all over the country, give them a, you know in olden days, 
I'm a young boy. You know, you know, in this, not in the regional, you know, we have marketing board that market yeah. yes, yes. What you build, you see, when you build all these silos all over the country, give contract to Igbo, make the build those silos. Tell them that now you go get license, like uh, Cosmos Maduka, uh -huh. all those big people, just give them license, say, now I go to market Nigerian food all over the world. You see that Nigeria will become an agrarian country all of a sudden. Because now they know where people they buy food. Is it the Abuki Muno where we go to buy food? <laughs> that is the problem where the people don't understand. There is one thing you don't understand. Uh, hey. <laughs> is, is, is it Louis Ojuku? You know Ojuku? Late yeah. uh, Ojuku's father, Louis Ojuku. Uh, you know he's the first transporter in Nigeria. Yes, I know. And he's the first person that he that You know when he was alive, he, you know that uh, Ojibo. Ojibo. Uh, uh, what they call it? Uh, Ojibo. Uh, that place, that uh, that Ido Park. Uh, you know, I ain't get Ido Park. I know. You know, if you go to Ido Park, you go see Yoruba, you go see Hausa, you go see Igbo. You know, uh, most of his properties all over. You see them every tribe did it. You know, he's a decentralized Nigerian like, because he's a businessman. You understand? Uh, I know Louis Ojuku that guy. You know, he's the only major transporter to John Holt. Uh, all those white uh, companies where they come to Nigeria. Uh, you know, that I bring leverages to Nigeria. Most big companies. You know, Igbo man, nobody say he want to become president or minister. You know, Louis Ojuku was offered to the minister and he refused. He said he don't want to be a position. But he funded NCNC. <laughs> that is an Igbo man. <laughs> Had he been worried, supported, bring Igbo to his... They would have even supported his government. By now, they would have his village. Somebody would have gone there to build oil refineries. <laughs> <laughs> because then they get where money is. And this man just sit down like an archaic person. And the people who are around him, they are old people. That is why we are suffering now. You know, during Jonathan, despite his uh, his fault, who else was not as as, as costly as this, neighboring country were getting their food. Nigerians were happy. Yes. Dollars was not as high as this. But we are yes. not having any problem. Yes. We have reserve, we have everything. But all of a sudden, Bari say I don't go do with Igbo. And he was even showing the hatred towards them. And that is why they just they look up. Showing them hatred. If you go the whole of Broad Street now, William, William Street for Island. Uh, all those big buildings are Igbo people will get around. <laughs> Yorubana Street, they said. They don't get shop. <laughs> and these are people that would have helped you to move your to move your economy. Just sit down and say, I don't want to do anything with them. Okay, go now. Oh. So, so you really know that Nigeria is actually going down? Well, I mean, we are not moving forward now, Chief. Because Buhari, we are sitting on 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 the on on the time bomb, <laughs> waiting to explode. And people don't know. I, is it, I'm afraid now that by next year, you know, I've started processing my document. By next year, I'll leave Nigeria and I'll not come back again. No, no, no. If you leave Nigeria, where are we going to run to? You are even talking. About, do you know that in my village now? One thousand naira. If you give one thousand naira to person, but if you like say you don't carry one million, give up. Yes, man. People, people are hungry. People are hungry, and the man people and the man doesn't want to. They're hungry everywhere. He, and the problem is that he's not doing anything. You see, you need to have done something that people say this is what I have done. He has not done anything. We are not moving forward. We are stagnated. Nah, eh? Saying that this, 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 I don't this, know. This uh, Osibanjo case, so they want to mm -hmm. force the man out. Or what is actually happening with Osibanjo? Osibanjo will go. Yes. And he's succeeding. <laughs> they don't sack all Osibanjo's state now. Even his own PA now and a house man, they won't bring for him. <laughs> you know, you know Osibanjo is, is, is a tribalist person. You know that those, those 32 eight the the sack recently, all of them are Yoruba. Uh huh. Uh, 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 but uh, but uh, 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 Buhari is uh, tribalistic too. He doesn't have Buhari, anything to do with Buhari. Let me tell you one thing, Chief. Buhari don't even know what is happening in his government. You <laughs> don't even know because you know that there are some ministers. You don't even know them. You don't even know how they got appointed. You understand? Know, just like uh, Oyema, that minister of foreign affairs. Uh, you know, Buhari don't know him. He knew good people where he come from. They didn't know him. You know, Oyema was a classmate to Abakari in the UK. That was how Abakari brought him. Are you telling me they don't have APC people that voted for Abakari? 
Yeah. <laughs> Being the, are you telling me that there are no APC members in a, in a, in Enugu? George Mogalu who contested, you know George Mogalu has never changed party. He has been a Buhari, agent Buhari, uh, this is. He has been following Buhari since 2003. George Mogalu. Uh. What, what Buhari did was, he, he, he sidelined George Mogalu for more than five years. It is just last, last one they gave him a MD of National Ila Waterway. That's why they're supposed to give minister. Eh? I, I, Osita Okechuku was a Buhari's uh, spokesman from 2000. He has never changed party before. People thought Buhari would even give minister. He didn't give him. Look at uh, Chubo Akadibo. You know Chubo Akadibo was uh, killed because, because of Buhari. Of him, Buhari. Because of Buhari, that was how Buhari, that was how they killed Chibu Akadibo. And Chibu Akadibo predicted to Buhari that he would become president one day, but he might not be alive that time. But what Buhari should have done, he would have picked Chibu Akadibo, two of his children, give one ambassador, give one minister or special advisor. At least the Igbos will start seeing the sense of belonging in him. Like Ojuku, when Buhari lost the election in 2003, you know Ojuku drove from Abuja to Katsina to go and visit Buhari. You know Ojuku taught Buhari and Co. When in the military school, he was their instructor now. What Buhari mm -hmm. should have done, he would have picked Ojuku, one of his sons, and his wife, and give them appointment. Even minister says, you know, Ibos would have just seen, look at Omez Zeke, all those Ibos, look at uh, Michael Hamba. You know, Michael Hamba supported Buhari the down to Supreme Court. Uh -huh. he, didn't, he didn't do anything for Michael Hamba. Look at uh, Tam Dejuwe. Who supported Buhari all his life? In fact, that, He's not in Ibadan. Uh, He's not the, doing anything. That uh, uh, the reverse, that, that is mm -hmm. my greatest problem with Buhari. Mm -hmm. That can the reverse. Somebody who has suffered all through. Yes, road book for for Buhari says. As I'm talking to you now, Tam the reverse on which you are in Ibadan. Buhari has never visited him. You know? He is like that, too. And that is why you see that Nigerians, they don't even know where we are going. Yeah. But you say this. But, you but say people, that. You say this. But people are there supporting the man. See, mm -hmm. you, see you, 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 you at least, you, uh, there was something I was uh, uh, writing to you, you two or uh, some days ago. Me, uh, I campaigned and fought uh, for Buhari. 2015. I know now. I know that time. 2015. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, I don't want to hear that name at all. It, you know the guy, it was later people come to discover that it was actually the VIA God that was the president of Nigeria. <laughs> you don't worry. <laughs> you see? No. The guy, he just, he, you, know, you know God, if God has destined you to become some, somebody in life, you definitely be. But he is not, Buhari is not for this generation at all. At all. He has lost, he has lost contact with the generation. You see? When I think about about working the sole all government property, what that, what Buhari should have done, he would have been reviewing all, all those the, transactions. All, all those things they say. Look at Anamco in Inugu. You know Anamco now then they do fourteen fourteen for us. They go yeah. spread the shares in Anamco. Buhari would have reviewed Anamco. You know Buhari you know an Ibo man, I will keep continuing to tell you, Ibo man don't want to be president of. <laughs> they just want an able environment where they can do their business. Just don't don't make life difficult for them. Carry your asshole of the go. But don't touch their business, their lifestyle. You see? Now, most of them, if you come to first that now, now they are the dreams about. Most of them, they just want this man make it carry in Wala the go. Because they don't want, they don't know where to. Because the man is making like difficult for everybody. You, you know, since four years you now, see? no single mm -hmm. foreign company has entered this country in manufacturing. So go and do what? No you, single. You, you have road. I'm going, do you have road? Do you have life? <laughs> Let us be friends. Friend, friend. If you want to travel from Lagos now to Abuja, it's a nightmare. There is no road. It's a security. If you want to leave Vestak now to Badagri, you spend eight hours, you never reach Badagri. Yeah? Uh, all these things, I just don't know. See, our teaching was free They are dead. There is no good teaching was free now again in Nigeria. Yes. Look at our schools, universities. You know, he's under his government now. People are just opening universities anyhow because he has lost control. Buhari don't even know what they are doing in education and He don't even know anything. He's just sitting down, battling with his health. <laughs> I make him resign. Me, he goes down. I make them bring somebody. The you know, it is leadership. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I agree to be your friends and lovers of freedom. 
This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name is Men Smiles, Jonathan Chinedu from Alu Province of Biafra London. We are here live and direct. Today is the ninth day of November 2022. We welcome each and every one of you to welcome your friends and way wishers onto this hallowed platform. Invite your friends and way wishers, even your enemies. Do not deny them listening to this hallowed platform in places many places many parts of Biafra land you can tune in now right now fm 102.1 even in our law axis you can be hearing my voice live and direct because our fm station there has been restored and it is working therefore you have no excuse not to listen onto this hallowed platform because this is the voice of revolution a revolutionary radio instituted by mazen namde kuchuku kano who is still in the enemy territory he is illegally renditioned from kenya with Brit direct british backing down to nigeria remember mazen namde kano is holding british passport he's a british national naturalized national or naturalized citizen but uh, the country that he adopted they, they failed him they failed him he is now in the nigerian secret police confinement solitary confinement despite being released by the nigerian appeal court on the 13th of october 2022 but the nigerian government being a banana republic being a country that does not obey the rule of law they said no to the court judgment and continue detaining him illegally if you can't obey the court ruling why bring him to court in the first place that is a question we continue asking therefore it doesn't matter what happens they must release him and we will continue towards Biafra rest restoration nothing will hamper us it doesn't matter all the kidnap of Mazen Namdekano it doesn't matter anything the Biafra restoration is a project that must be achieved is our focal point therefore i welcome each and every one of you Tatabo obochi ori in our own evil calendar therefore once again i welcome each and every one of you because today in a short period of time mazichina samoru will be joining me here on an interactive session briefings about things that we should know and interactive session therefore i welcome each and every one of you to welcome your friends once again onto this hallowed platform before we continue to this business there is something i want to uh, just specify you know on on the clip the kule and alahaji clip which I was playing. Listen, anytime they refer to an Igbo man as a detribalized Nigerian, know that he's an Ofeke. Ofeke that doesn't know where he comes from. Nobody, whether white or black, is detribalized. If you accept, you know, this sometimes some wordings that are being used on us, we don't we don't even reason. The, uh, the tribalizing. How can you detribalize uh, somebody? Which means you know uprooting him from where he comes from, from his roots. Do you understand? So uh, anytime you are called uh, the tribalized Nigerian, know that they are saying that you are you are ofeke you know what we call ofeke you don't know you are bad you are not a uh, anuelu you are not a uh, bed you are not a uh, ground animal 
So you don't know nothing. That is what they mean. But you don't know. Uh, but we must continue. Um, we must continue in what we are doing. We have many things at hand and we must never relent, never be discouraged by the internal or external enemy or enemies. We must never relent in whatever we are doing because our focus remains Biafra restoration. Biafra restoration is more important than an individual. That is one thing we should understand. Therefore, once again, I welcome each and every one of you. Please let us continue clinging to our roots. Stop answering the tribalized Nigerian. It is an insult. You must know your roots. That is it. That is the thing. The Fulani, they got, they almost, they have their way today in Nigeria because they cling to their roots. They cling to their ancestors, Ottoman Don Folio. They cling, they, in as much as, notwithstanding that they are part of uh, Nigeria, or they were part of Nigeria, uh, but they gave condition that uh, being a Nigerian doesn't, uh, will not uh, divide them from clinging to who they are. Following Ottoman Don Folio's roots and that is what they got they got it from britain because they saw that they say instead of us leaving our roots we leave nigeria do you see are they are they the tribalized nigerians the answer is no they are tribalized nigerian that is how we should be you should be proud of who you are you defend your own face that is the message. Not all these politicians that are trying to be Nigerian. Zeke of Africa. Zeke never even, he never even uh, understand his root in Onisha. Now we jump to Zeke of Nigeria, larger Nigeria and Africa. And today, in history, if they are talking about um, Julius Nyerere, uh, Kwame Nkrumah, uh, do they talk about Zeke? Do you hear it? In the world stage, because he's a the tribalized Nigerian and you get nothing. When when you talk about tribalized Nigerian, which is how it should be, Ahmad Bello, you see them. They don't shy away from their roots. And today they are whenever you talk about you talk about Ahmad Bello. Because they cling to their roots. Therefore, before I bring in Maz Echina Sanwaru, who is already here with me, I want you not to forget that uh, the monster, the monster, who opposes the demand should never be allowed by any way, any means, in order to do what? In order to solidify, to enter back into what, what he usurped, you know? I want to play I want to play his voice which you have I mean, uh, that is up, please. And um, it's a good thing that uh, the aviation ministry has banned him. They blacklisted already. Anyway, uh, which is also uh, people will be people in Imo and other will be suffering. But they have to be using other airports. But one good thing they did is to blackly to ban Hope Ozodema from flying. And they said they will continue making sure that even he will be blacklisted all over the world. Now, the question I want to ask people is this. How do you want somebody like this to be your government? Somebody that brings death. Somebody that brings, he doesn't care for human life. It, just what matters for him is his power. 
the governorship. Listen to what he said. Do not forget. Just listen. <laughs> APC on our governor, APC on our president, APC on our local government. Can you also link I didn't know how to get a letter. I was like, I'm going to get a letter. 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 Do you see the beast that we are dealing with? And he put God in it in order to deceive the gullible. No. no. God did not give it to him. The caliphate did. Now this is the people he's calling God. How can you, how can you, you know, be there and this kind of animal, it's an animal. Will be ruling, will be in charge of our lives in a part of Biafra land. How does it sound? That how can somebody, uh, this thing that this power that God have given, provided for him unexpectedly. How can he allow somebody to take it back? Do you see the animal we are dealing with? An, an animal. Now we must come. Therefore, without taking any much time, without any much delay, I will bring in Maazichina Sanwuru. Maazichina Sanwuru, please welcome to the program and make your introductory statements. Please go on. Now we must come. Therefore, Without taking any much time, without any much delay, I will bring in Maazichina Sanwuru. Maazichina Sanwuru, please welcome to the program and make your introductory statements. Please go on. Or we must come. Therefore, without taking any much time, without any much delay, I will bring in Maazichina Sanwuru. Maazichina Sanwuru, please welcome to the program and make your introductory statements. Please go on. Or we must come. Therefore, without taking any much time, without any much delay, I will bring in Maazichina Sanwuru. Maazichina Sanwuru, please welcome to the program and make your introductory statements. Please go on. Or we must come. Therefore, without taking any much time, without any much delay, I will bring in Maazichina Sanwuru. Maazichina Sanwuru, please welcome to the program and make your introductory statements. Please go on. Or we must come. Therefore, without taking any much time, without any much delay, I will bring in Maazichina Sanwuru. Maazichina Sanwuru, please welcome to the program and make your introductory statements. Please go on. Or we must come. Therefore, without taking any much time, without any much delay, I will bring in Maazichina Sanwuru. Maazichina Sanwuru, please welcome to the program and make your introductory statements. Please go on. Or we must come. Therefore, without taking any much time, without any much delay, I will bring in Maazichina Sanwuru. Maazichina Sanwuru, please welcome to the program and make your introductory statements. Please go on. Or we must come. Therefore, Without taking any much time, without any much delay, I will bring in Maazichina Sanwuru. Maazichina Sanwuru, please welcome to the program and make your introductory statements. Please go on. Or we must come. Therefore, without taking any much time, without any much delay, I will bring in Maazichina Sanwuru. Maazichina Sanwuru, please welcome to the program and make your introductory statements. Please go on. Or we must come. Therefore, without taking any much time, without any much delay, I will bring in Maazichina Sanwuru. Maazichina Sanwuru, please welcome to the program and make your introductory statements. Please go on.
Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. Uh, we are here live and direct. Today is the ninth day of November 2023. You know, no matter the attack and everything, we must continue. You will not depart us. Immediately, Mazina Samoru came on board. Uh, you know, there is a, a perturbation which I quickly saw, and it resulted in the uh, the voice repeating on radio but i have corrected it so as i said as i said before without taking much time mazi china samuru is here mazi china samuru please go on your voices will be hard crystal clear please go on mazi um thank you so much for bringing me back on air it's it's really surprising that uh, the time i just wanted to join the broadcast my skype automatically signed out i was surprised that's why i quickly ran to the other phone looking for a backup skype which i sent you message there and uh, while i'm trying to make sure that i come back here and immediately i try to speak is also a kind of a network problem but um i hope we are good to go dear friends and all the lovers of freedom my name is Mazi Chinasa Nwaru. Mazi Chinasa Nwaru served the indigenous people of Biafra as a member of the Directorate of State. I am from Obingwa, and Obingwa is in Aba province. This evening, I have come to you people, I have come to you lovers of freedom, today, 9th of November, 2023. The year is fast winding up. And we thank you for all the life they strength. They have been able to sustain all of us during this journey for the restoration of Biafra and during this ordeal when our leader is in the hands of the enemies. Mazi Chinedu, it's unfortunate that I promised to be here last week, but it's unfortunate um i couldn't make it because we are having a lot of things in our hands so i couldn't make out time for that particular to show up on radio but i'm i'm sure i'm making it up today what can i do today as we continue to brief our people about the Biafra restoration, and we continue to in, uh, create the awareness and enlighten our people to understand the time we are in, to understand the forces that are holding our leader, to understand also the forces holding the Biafra struggle. But today we are going to focus a little bit on what is happening in Imo State. In Imo State, precisely because of what is coming up in a few days time by next tomorrow you know people are very stupid i can say it on radio some sometimes also i feel those are nigerians or they are you know these agents of uh, the politicians because they are there you know they have been defeated so they only go back to the comment section to tell you uh, you people are talking too much um, uh, you people are saying this but they forgot that mazin namde kind of have spoken here for 10 years I have spoken on this radio for 10 years. And in his absence, we try to keep this struggle going. People do not know the sacrifice that has been made to keep this struggle going. People do not know what the leadership have passed through to keep this struggle going. People do not know what it takes to keep this struggle alive. They do not know. That's why whatever somebody said, it doesn't shake us. It doesn't move us. Sometimes people want 
um, come on the radio and they just tell people to, yes, we have to keep, but we have to condition our people to understand that the radio hosts are also doing their job. I have never seen the time Mazin Namdekano have spent talking to you people, creating awareness, creating awareness. And the just Mazin Namdekano is being kidnapped. Most of you fall apart. Most of you fall apart. The cost become very clear what most of you have come into the struggle to do. It is now very clear also that those who came, and unfortunately, those who took it upon themselves to blackmail us, blackmail the leadership. Today, when people speak, or when people try to write a certain, they tell you, oh, leave those people, you are attacking them, but have they all forgotten? Have they all forgotten what they did to IPOB leadership? what they did to China Samoan, what they did to Chike Dozium, what they did to Abani, what they did to all IPUB principal officers. Have they forgotten? Have they forgotten so fast? It's because we know the principle, we know the ideology. We were part of this movement. That is why this struggle could be able to survive. Today, they have started to explore. When we came here and told people, these are agent provocateurs, these are infiltrators, people say we are attacking. Today, so out of shame, they cannot even, they can't believe what is happening. They are now fighting in-house. And that is what they wanted to happen in the DOS. They try to buy in some people. They try to use some people to poke inside the DOS. And the DOS took a decisive step. Separate everybody in his department and handle people individually. Let us see where the problem is coming from. People did not know. Little did people know. When we come here and say, we have evidence we have classified evidence that this person, this person, these people are working for Nigerian government. People did not believe. Some fake native doctors will do all the abracatabra and told you, God told them. I am waiting the day Mazen Namdekano will come out. Let me see all the people who will come out. It is because of the chicken you kill. You know, the Amarako. It is because of the cow you kill in uh, Olasi River. It is because of the uh, goat you slaughter in Aglaid. That is why Mazen Namdekano is out. Because our people have put themselves in a situation they want to use, they, they don't want to take responsibility. What they want is to imagine, feel, try to, uh, uh, um, what can I say, perceive that through their, the, the words of their mouth, through the words of what they are saying, it will come to fulfillment. The world doesn't work in that nature. And that is why our people are poor today. Because they depend so much. By saying, I am rich. For 40 years, you are rich. Your parents, do. some of us, our parents, we are thinking about, I am rich, I am this, I am that. I, they have grown old. Some of them are in their 80s, in their 90s. The same story. Sometimes, it's not that they don't know what they're doing, but they have been conditioned in that manner. And the moment the leadership tried their best, trying to strategize and see how things will work out, names were called. Today, the enemies are outside exposing themselves how the chief infiltrator is paid a salary of 4,500 euro a month. And now they have reduced the salary to 500. Uh, to, they have removed 500 from his salary. How they are being paid $300 for media. It happened. The moment they hold Mazen Namdekan, it is not new for us. We know what happened 
when they are redition mazin nam dekano all the people that has all the media personnel those always on social media they were all called promise heaven and earth some of them fell behind some refused some recovered from when they realized what was happening and they continue to fight on the nigerian government is not going to stop they do not know what the leadership of ipo be how they walk through to make sure that even that somebody can meet mazen namde kano and deliver face somebody who knows the struggle who knows everything about the struggle can be able to meet mazen namde kano and tell him the exact situation what is happening on ground <laughs> Before Mazen Benjamin Madbubu could see Mazen Namdekano, the leadership have tried more than four times, paid money, stays in the hotel to no avail. But we persist because we know that if somebody who knows about this struggle can meet Mazen Namdekano, I used to tell people, we don't depend on the lawyers. The lawyers are not IPOB members. We don't depend on any third party. Besides, we know that the DSS are listening to every spoken word we sent out to Mazen Namdekano. We needed somebody who can be who knows IPOB, who is a member of this indigenous people of Biafra, who went to prison with Mazen Namdekano. And we succeeded. Benjamin Madibubu met Mazen Nandekano one on one. We knew that might be the last day we give him the opportunity. We knew that. And I have to let their friends know this evening that. Do you see all those people who visited Mazen Nandekano in the Kuje prison and came out and tell the world that? Mazen Namdekano said he is not responsible for the kidnapping, the killings, the car snatching. He did not send anybody to do those things. Do you know that all of them that met Mazen Namdekano, today the DSS have refused any one of them again to see Mazen Namdekano? People must know this. All of you saw when Chief Olasin went and met Mazen Namdekano came out on the television and spoke and said he will be visiting him again. Till today, the DSS have refused in total because he has come and spoken a word they don't like. Ifa Nyoba, who went and met Mazin Nam de Kano, after he has come out and said Mazin Nam de Kano told him this and that, I think he has tried also many occasions again to see Mazin Nam de Kano, they refuse him. Benjamin Madbubu, who have tried to meet Mazen Namdekano, have tried again, a couple of times again, they refuse in total that he will never see Mazen Namdekano. People are supposed to know a lot of things. Do you know why we come out sometimes to tell people so that people know, supposed to know that a lot is going in the background that is, doesn't need public consumption? Because it helps in decision making so that when you are saying something, you are saying it categorically and you have the facts down with you. We don't come here to talk and we change words tomorrow. We are dealing with people. Let me tell you people another thing you have to put in your mind, everybody. You know, we are not expecting no surprises. For me, from what I have seen from the game that has been played from the time the Nigerian government is holding Mazen Namdekano, nobody can shock me. Everything I already prepared it in my mind, how it might happen, so that when it is happening, don't be shocked. Don't be worried. Because just like when um, we got some news on the newspaper where they said that 
whole thing not to release mass and the camera. People were jumping and carrying the news. These are news I have always made public to our people on this radio platform. I have continually told you people those behind the rendition, the kidnapping and rendition of Mazen Namdekano. Hope Zodema made it very clear that Namdekano will never be out until he finished this election. Even if he goes into power, that they, I have said this and that is why I tell our people to face the reality. Then you come out, you attack Chinasawaru, Chinasawaru sold Mazen Namdekano. What is their profit? What is their profit for selling Mazen Namdekano? It is those who have come out to claim because they were being paid. Many of them, all of you are seeing jumping up on social media, and some of them, many of them knew. What happened to even the same day Mazen Namdekano was arrested? They knew all of them, they knew. Do you know why they don't try to involve the DOS? They know we, they know that's why they, because they know if they involve the DOS, I swear to Chuko Kikadia, Mazen Namdekano will not be renditioned in Kenya. I'm saying it on will not be renditioned from Kenya. I'm saying it on this platform. Although it is late, but I can bet anybody if we knew Mazen Namdekano was kidnapped in Kenya, they will never rendition. We will activate all the contacts we know. People should know we are their friends. We are all over the world. We do any, there is nothing. We know the bad, we know the good, we know the ugly, we know everything. Who can doubt us? Who will doubt us? Who doubts us? There is nobody. Igbo guys, dear friends, let me make it specially for Igbo people around the world. We have our contact. We know where to press. Something will happen. We know. Talk less of when they are holding our leader. And we are not going to press the button. They knew. All of them knew. I could remember when they renditioned Mazen Namdekano. There was somebody I confronted who used to play like uh, a Holy Ghost in what we are doing. When they came to tell me they this, they that, they talked to this, that, I asked him one question. I said, you people have all this contact. You have all this contact with the Nigerian government. You have all these things. And you people were there. They rendition us in Namdekano. None of you tip us. None of you tip us. Uh, uh, you know, we try to do this thing. The government said they have a second plan. We, do you understand me? We look at them. These are people. Even one of them. Whom I say, can you give me? You are in the airport. Can you give me the flight that arrived on that 26th of June in Abuja airport? I just want to know the flight. That private jet that left Kenya on 26th and arrived in Abuja airport. You are in the airport. Give it to me. Give me the information. They run around, run around, they disappear. Hope Zodema was pumping champagne. Hope Zodema used to have um, government uh, meetings, I think, every two, two weeks. He was pumping champagne when Mazen Namdekan was renditioned. You know, you know, one thing is this. There are certain things we can never show to the public. Because if you show it to the public, you endanger your sympathizers. You because at the end of the day, they will found the person. They may notice the person with his voice. 
like we used to get people also, and they will kill the person. And tomorrow, nobody will give you information. He celebrated. They were pumping champagne in any conscious house in Imo State. Who opposed them mind? I'm not telling you, I quote me anywhere that Tina Sawaru said this. In that place is where they discuss who brought the balance money. Yes, we brought the balance money and some businessmen in Anambara, they brought the money to complete the $9 billion. And this is the person tomorrow those criminals, say, using Mazen Namdekano's name, doing everything, they are also working with him. Because it's all about money. As we are talking this night, even the military that they brought in Imo State, so I want them to listen. Even some military officers are already organizing with some of these criminals to kidnap some of the top INEC officers. They met some military inside and some police officers they, because they want to make money. They already, we already intercepted a communication where an officer is telling some people to arrange men that they you want to capture some top INEC officers by tomorrow, Friday. He want to catch them, that hope was on them. Might, they have all been handed over dollars. But at least he's expecting to collect from them 100 million each. Some military officers in Imo State, as I'm telling you this night. As I'm telling you people. This is the type of country, and this is the INEC. INEC in Nigeria is worse than the police officers. The INEC officers, they are they are the devil in the democracy in Nigeria. And they, we are going to hunt them. I'm telling you. I'm saying it so that the Nigerian government and INEC officers will go and they register. We are going to hunt INEC officers in Biafra land. Because they are the evil. They are the devil's agent patrolling and making sure they keep criminals, wreaking criminals into our society. People who have come to kill us. And other people are these judges. You know, we look at these judges. Last time, four years ago, the Supreme Judge intentionally gave hope of them man. Fought from fourth position, making the governor of Imo State. This is what our people are getting today. Today, this is what we are getting. And they have positioned themselves also. What we are going to do, we are not going to talk about it. Because we know the hope is very desperate. Killed a lot of people. Born houses. And they, even if they win him tomorrow, he has his hope lies in the Supreme Court judges. He will still go there to pay and retain his position. If he could be able to retain, to become a governor from fourth position. So tell me, now he's a sitting governor. Tell me, even if they dispose him on the pool from what might happen on Saturday. Tell me, he still have an option. The Supreme Court judges, the tribunal, election tribunals, the semi neck that read in the, the Chicago certificate forger and the drug baron, we rig him in. Are you going to be surprised? Are you going to be surprised? Why sometimes people talk, they come, I see some stupid woman, this agent provocateur, go into the press release, IPOB, I posted on my this thing and be talking rubbish. These are agents. What people don't understand is this woman they call Ungos, Dr. Ngozi Orabeze, who in IPOB, if you are old in IPOB, who in IPOB did not know what that lady did to Mazen Lamdekan? 
She is a co-enemy of Mazin Namdekano. Everybody know that. Now Mazin Namdekano get went into the prison. She surfaced. Is there any member of IPOB who is in IPOB for many years in America or in Europe or even Japan? And if you are a hardcore IPOB, have all of you forgotten this woman? Have all of you forgotten? Him and Mazin Namdekano don't give him go one road because of what horrible things she did. Have all of you forgotten the women of Jezebel? This uh, 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 women of what? I don't know what they call themselves. Women of uh, Jezebel. Have you got people forgetting them? Tomorrow they come from the back door to come to talk to you about their fact. And most of you will fall. I mean, Ngozi or Abeze. You know, some of them go to America, they carry certificates, whether they do using data. They come, they, they, they are full of corruption. They are agents. And I'm very, very happy. I'm proud of myself. People who knows me, knows me. For those of them, they're using women to track. It is not Tina Samoru. If you're a woman, I suspect you, you come through, close me, trying to be an agent. I will kill you. I'm saying it on the radio so that they will write it. Some of some boasted they will they are the one to catch it. Ask people about me. You need to ask people about me before you make you make your move. In Kuwait, ask them about me. People who know me or that is they should also ask them. I am not that type. I can vow for myself. They send you come uh, go. You cannot even come close. You can't come. I'm saying it so that some of them who are nursing, some of them now, they have tried now. They have tried. It is unfortunate what happened. Even this, I, when they brought the Secretary of Onyendu to hand over to Onyendu, this is a girl, this Caroline, they have handed him over to, there are people they have tried to use her also to bring down that Caroline. Stories are coming out. There are, there are people they have already, before they give to Onyendu, to become her personal secretary. You know, sometimes when we talk things, people think we are, we are, we are, you understand me, we are just talking, but we are loaded with, we have information and keep, but when you trigger there, we open it. It's not that we don't know. We know. Like somebody came on social media and asked me, hey, so you know all these things we keep silent. So if we know, we come out. It's when the time. For example, I posted this Oz Ozondo. This guy from Agua. I posted him on Facebook. People come to talk about, uh, 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 so you know this guy. He is a criminal. I have nothing to do with him. But when I stand out there, people will use him to destroy IPOB. When I found out a criminal that I know, that I have heard about him, his name is Ozondro. Nay, he's from Agua. You know, Budwaba, autonomous community. You know, Buddha local government in Imo State. This guy, I posted him. We are among the people that escaped from the Imo State prison. The people are here now. As I'm talking, people know what I'm saying. Can you even tell me that the police don't know those who escaped from the prison? This guy was an ex-convict. Escaped from the prison. What consigned a, 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 a prison, uh, escape, uh, somebody who escaped from the prison from IPOB? It's never an IPOB member. They are committing their crimes. They are working for politicians. They came out, they are working with the people in also. They continue to attack, kill. Even we got a report. There is a place is building five bedroom apartments. He killed one guy and the wife and buried them. Three people he killed and buried in that particular office building. As if he's in the hands of the police, they should take him. Let him where he is building five bedroom apartments. He killed one guy. I don't want to mention his name here, but he, which is white. If they go there, they will find the skeleton of that guy and his wife buried inside that particular building. 
he killed another guy also, which the name I have to withheld it on air. Bury them in the building. These are the kind of evil people are committing. Now, and after this program, I will post the bishop who said he made this peace. People ask this bishop, you were giving them why I came out and raised the alarm on that particular day was because we got information that last Friday, that was Friday last week, that the guy for more than two months we heard about some of them, all this sort of pilot group, some of them want to take amnesty from hope. Many of them want to go and take amnesty because they know their criminal empire is collapsing. Has collapsed, not is is has had collapsed. They now running to take running back with their boss who they are working for because some of them hope knows them very well with some of his political thoughts. They said, Okay, no problem. We got the information that they were in hope. They went to see hope. The government house or somewhere, I don't know, arranged by this bishop, even our children and other people. And they took picture, they shake hands and took picture that that was last week Friday. When they went back, he now started to mobilize all the guys he's using to kill, kidnap, car snatching. He told them they will surrender. Some of them refused that they will not surrender. I think they are around 20 or 20 something, or getting to 30 like that. They, they, they decided, they now asked them to go and surrender the guns at the bishop home. Those guys went surrendered the guns. The military is supposed to come and pick that gun that day. The military did not come. So the military later, we have our intel. The military later came, picked the guns from the bishop house, went back. Ask them all of them to come out on that Tuesday morning. I think that was Tuesday morning. Yes. yes. To come out on Tuesday morning or Monday morning that they will come and pick them. When the military came to the community, they came with media press, press people. They came with press. That's why we blocked them. I came out and they exposed it because the next thing you will see. They will come out in the news because when they came to pick this guy, they came with armored vehicle, with press, press people. They came and took all these guys to the Imo State Government House, where they say they are going to discuss about. I posted their pictures. If you are from Agua, don't you know who Ozon Dunej is? Don't you people know he's a criminal? Don't you people know before? Before even ESM was formed? That is how we came out and said, we have to expose this. Because if we wait, and that's why they refuse to televise it. They will not televise it again. We came out, when we know that they have moved them with the press people from our heading to away. We now came out, and came out, we make it public. Because delay is dangerous. We cannot always be on a defensive side, always. That's why I came out on air and came out on the social media and posted their picture and tell people that is why the government have they have stepped back. By now, you would have seen on social media some IPOB members and ESM people have been granted amnesty by hope of the man. That is what you people would have seen by now. And they, they have found out that we have posted it. They now step backward. How are they going to carry this story again? Because I have alerted every media personnel. When they drop it, they will see attack. They will, will make them caricature. Sometimes we have to be ahead of our enemies. The ones, the information that's supposed to go out there will go out there. And they, I'm using this opportunity. I know Hope will not do it, but we are calling also the human rights groups of Nigerian Observatory Inter Society. Amnesty International, it is time for them to move into Imo State. A lot of mass graves are in Imo State. Our people have been butchered in Imo State by who pose the man. Hope is butchering our people, the criminals are butchering our people. 
these guys have brought a bad name, this criminals. And I will say something also. I'm making one statement here on Radio Biafra. Most of you in Alaba, Alaba International Market, all the main markets in Lagos, this is just for security reasons. It's not that you people support this struggle. But because our names are involved, because the name of IPOB and name of ESN is involved, that's why I am raising this awareness information. We have gotten a report. Some of them have escaped from all over. They ran to Lagos. Some of them who are their, their informants, they are in a labor market, giving information to those criminals now at home because they have pursued everybody out from all over. They have chased people away. So now what they do is they, they stay in, they run, some of their info, they run to Lagos in Alaba. They spot those Igbo people from those areas, from that area, from that Olo, from that Igbo state. They take your number, they give to those criminals. The criminal will start calling you that if you don't come and pay them, they are going to burn your houses. These criminals are already inside here. And why I'm saying it is because already somebody has been arrested. He is already in Panty, I think in Lagos there, or in Lagos uh, State CID. They say his IPOB and ESN, they are these ones that are killing people in the East. He is presently, but we cannot confirm this particular person. But one thing I'm telling you on air, he is not IPOB member. And also, we do not want our people to use those things to try to, to punish or to sabotage people's business. If you have problem with somebody, you run to the police and claim that he is a ESN, is IPOB. Any boy that came from the East, now you have to say, oh, he run. He's a, we don't want this situation. We are following most of these cases. It is not everything we heard we come on air to speak. We have to investigate. We have to look into those cases, how true they are. Because our people also are horrible people. Most of them are liars. Especially, we saw how these women came out. Food, women that don't even know you. People that say they spoke to you once or twice. People that you don't have communication, look at them. Come on social media, talk about you. What they know and what they don't know. They, they lie. They, they feel. They, they just tell them blackmail them. Blackmail them. I'm not saying I'm not going to I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to call you. I'm not They continue to blackmail as they continue to blackmail, people are investigating. People have found out that everything are lies. It's all lies. Black men. Why are they doing this thing? Why are they doing all these things? They are doing all these things. I'll give you reasons. Both those, all of them are accomplice. They are doing all these things, number one. They want to, as they have tried their best to implicate Mazen Nandekano with criminalities against ESN, against, they try to. Do you understand me? They have, the DSS have many things they are heaping on the head of Mazen Nandekano. Most of you don't know. And what the DSS are doing is if you go to lobby a country, you go to talk about the release of Mazen Nandekano, the DSS with their agents or anybody who go to speak on behalf of Mazen Namdekano, they bring all those things, all kind of their lies, and put say this is Namdekano did this, and Namdekano did that. Are you going to allow somebody who have murdered this thing? They want to see what you will say. <laughs> Number two, the siblings of Mazen Namdekano and all this, if you if people found out, you know. Any people, any group of people that want to destroy Chike, Dozi, and China, Samoru, and the DOS, the siblings of Mazen Nandekan will give them 100% support. Whether, do you understand me? The, the hatred because of what they feel they are gaining. We are not here for that. 
Now, they put all this in. They starve the leadership money so that we struggle, keep the struggle alive. Maybe Chike Dozemo, when Mazin Namde Khan, we finally come out. They said, oh, this leadership, they didn't do anything. What did they do? Mazin Namde Khan. So that Mazin Namde Khan comes out. He said, okay, these people, you don't do anything. These people, you don't. Do you understand me? He came out as somebody who came to unify all the rubbish they have scattered everywhere. Every rubbish they have scattered. That is what all their game is all about. They intentionally starve the leadership money. Every one of you have seen it. Have you people seen the leadership making any fundraising? But immediately, the leadership authorized the people in America to raise some funds for the ESN and diplomatic. Have you seen it? Have you seen the, the sibling of Mazen Namdekano? He set up his own, he set up his own um, uh, fundraising. Now he says he's representative of Mazen Namdekano. This is what we are passing through in this struggle. For me, I am not surprised for everything. But one thing is sure. This struggle, I have no boundaries. I have no boundary for anybody who have come to destroy this movement. I have no boundary to pursue you, anybody who have come to kill me. I have no boundary to give to anybody who has his intention out of his own wickedness and jealousy want to destroy the movement for the restoration of their friend. Looking back, millions of people have died. Thousands of people have died. And you are playing a game you are exhibiting your hatred. Many of them you see, they take salaries from IPO. Some of them. But it is those who are spending their own money. They come out and be screaming and screaming black men because they know, number one, Chike Dozem don't have their time. To come to exchange west besides he's a man of little words other other people don't want to speak they said let us wait let mazen namdekano comes out and that is where many people are standing because we never knew if you ask me i never knew if i knew i chinasa world knew have even, even foresight that the siblings of Mazen Namdekan know what they are doing today to this struggle. A struggle that has given them name. A struggle that has been glory in their family. But they intentionally want to destroy it because of greed for money and hatred against people who want this struggle to come to a logical conclusion. At Hose of Eggman, have any one of you seen the siblings of Mazin Nam Dekano condemn Hose of Eggman? Have any one of you seen that? Has any one of you seen Hose of Eggman? The siblings of Mazin Nam Dekano condemn Hose of Eggman? Have any one of you seen Aloye Jimako condemn Hose of Eggman? Instead, they will attack their own fellow lawyers. They attack the leadership. They support. These things are supposed to tell you people a lot of things. It's supposed to educate many of you. They look at where we are. Every politician, you beg money. You drag the name of IPOB on the floor because of greed. Because you want to get money. And many things cannot be tolerated again. I'm telling you people. After, after they go and talk, listen, we need to keep this struggle moving and we get our job done. 
two years ago, after the rendition of Mazen Mandekano, every one of you can bear witness. Nobody ever believed that IPOB will be we survive till now. Most of you don't believe it. You think it is by magic? It is by the grace of Chukwu Kadiyama and strategic work. Because we know the foundation of this struggle. People jump in from America because you feel you have money. Some of you that are so much hungry when they flash $2,000 for you. That's why many of our Igbo people are in prison. People who go because of $1 million, $2 million to carry drugs. They catch you. It's, that is how cheap most of you are. And it is in many of you. Money, because of money. But I'm happy today because when you go back to Biafra land, I continue to praise the IPOB leadership in Biafra land. Ebony was devastated. Ebony state was devastated. But my heart lives for joy. When I saw them, the IPOB principal officers, those who make things happen, when I saw them gather and address them, I said, IPOB, nobody can ever destroy you people. I know that some of you have went on the ground, but solidly you are behind the storm. And whenever you are called, most of you, you showed up. Because with what have happened in a police state, with what the woman did in a police state, you never believe that our people will be back on their feet. Likewise, Emugu. Likewise, Emo. Even though Emo is taught. Likewise, Emo Akwaibo, Delta, we more Anambara, IPOB is intact. And tomorrow, nobody can deceive you that IPOB has fallen. IPOB has never fallen, and IPOB will never fall. We only pray, as I am, I pray Chupo Kikadia. Start to train other leaders. Train Open the eyes. Let us identify other radical leaders. Because the way we are going in this fight, if we fail, in the next 100 years, the Afran will not come. That is why we need to prepare the next state, the next group of people. Because soon we are entering that dangerous zone. Sooner or later. And we don't give it that what we have we're not going to give it there. What is going to happen? That is why we call, like me, I call Chico Kavim, I said, show us the new sets of leaders because we are going to lead a dangerous move. That if anything happens, we continue. It's not okay. We're not coming on social media to please you. We don't come and we will never do that. Because some of you are fools making noise. That is why everywhere in the world, all of you are in prison. Because of your lousy behavior, your lousy character, the way you behave, the way you reason. That's why everywhere you go, you destroy the place. But there are sensible people who are ready to correct all those kind of behavior. What is happening in Imo State today? Is it not a behavior of a 419, a killer, a murderer, an arm robber? And what is displayed in a state, that is how many of our people behave. If not, that is confidential. If I play you the voice of these criminals, what they are talking, how they want to make money from IMF, from Imo State, how they will kidnap this person, you find out that everything is all about money. Kidnapping, make money, make 100 million, get 10 million, get 50 million, what will be my share? That is all what our people are fighting for. And they are kept under slave.
they go outside, they make noise. Go to Dubai, they make noise. Go to China, they are in prison. Malaysia, they are in prison. In Indonesia, they are in prison. In America, they are in prison. In Europe, they are in prison. In Middle East, everywhere they are in prison. Are you people the only people that travels abroad? That is the character most of you exhibit. Some of you are also in the prison talking rubbish. Have all of you forgotten those who used to be in the prison chatting from Facebook, talking rubbish? You think freedom fighting is, is just... People who think, do you think I came to social media? Imagine, what of when or you they fought the war? Who was seeing himself? Who, who, who is coming in newspaper? Is it because we have a time, a time for, 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 for that is social media? Don't you ask? Don't you see people fighting for their freedom? Don't you even see them? Even this Hamas, many groups that fought for their freedom, don't you even see them coming out? They will still mask their faces because they know it's a dangerous game. Anybody who knows this game is a dangerous game will not come out on social media and be making noise. If you don't know, if you don't know, you don't come on social. You don't come on social media to come and feel good for people to know you. Then after that, don't we even think? How do you people want us to tell you to deliver the message for you people? Ten years of Mazen Namde Kano talking on the radio is that not enough? Is there any other thing we are going to say that Mazen Namde Kano have not said? Is there any other word? The only thing is, already there are people trained who continue to spread the message. And the struggle continues. But one thing I bet, and I promise everybody, it will never be the same again. As long as Chukokika Biyama gives us life, it will never be the same again. Mahekwegi, I get with her. Everything we are doing is to make sure we don't want to look. What they are looking at, Nigeria is pushing. All these things they are doing is they push, push us. They push us. So they want some of you to provoke us so that we make the mistake. They just come in and they massacre people. And we are the one that to be on our knees begging. We're not going to do that mistake. Our strategies must not be known to our enemy. But they can never sleep. Whether they like it or not. They can never sleep. They can never have rest. I told them in the last program, we will bring Nigeria to a stage. Nobody wants to... If you say you're a Nigerian, they will stone you. Until they let their friends go. And until they let Mazen Nande can go. We are not here. Anything, as we are, everybody must make up his mind. Mazen Namdekan is in the hands of the enemy. Anything can happen. We must have this kind of mind. Some of you that for two years, you went and sleep, you stopped contributing, you don't want to support the struggle. Say some of you thought that Mazen Namdekan was in the police station. After three months, he come out, as some of them were lying for you people. And I let me ask you people, oh, the DOS is not doing anything. Them that is doing something, have they brought Mazen Namde Kano out? I want to know. Those who claim they are doing something, ask them, have they brought Mazen Namde Kano out? Have they brought him? Those that come to talk, where are they today? Because some of you, you just want people to entertain you, you feel good, you use it and drink beer and tell stories and go home. You can't even identify who is the enemy. You can't even identify when enemies are around you. You cannot. Because you are carried away. If they give you some money, you misbehave. I will stop here so that if there is anything to say, we go on from there. Thank you, Wanchineke. There, woman, see. Uh, before we came, although you touched 
all these places but before we come back to hope and the election there's something i want to bring out here so that you talk about it we understand that uh, we are seeing what is happening in logbanta in logba of which it is what ipub even you yourself most of the times have been talking about here on radio biafra to the extent ipub released press statement but uh, you know it baffles me when some Igbo group, so-called Igbo group, like on the 3rd of this uh, November, uh, there is a news headline on Punch, don't evict cattle traders over decomposing bodies, group urges OT. Now, this is a Southeast group under the ages of coalition of Igbo unions has all the Abia state governor. So, I want to, this group, uh, you know, when you read the uh, body of the uh, statement, they don't even talk about those that are killed. They are only talking about their interests, giving power even to the Northerners in order to start uh, uh, killing Ibus or just for their own selfish interests. Masi, what do you say about this type of behavior in some of our people, please? Mazi, uh, let me tell you something. Let, 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 let me put it straight here. They say Igbo group. They mention any name? No name? Yes, yes. They mention some names anyway. What is his name? Uh, yeah. They mention, please. Uh, yes. You will give me the names. Yes. No, you will give me the name. Okay. We okay. will send me the article. Mazi, we will go it through. I will go. I These are the kind of people we are looking for. The kind of people that speaks this kind of rubbish. Anytime we are trying to put the land in order, you see those agents. Mazi, send us these people's name, and they, we will mention their these names. Let people identify them. Say, these are the kind of people we are looking for. This kind of stupid Igbo groups that always be on the side to sabotage. Mazi. Imagine this law banter. How many times, how many press release? Early this year, Chike Dozim, Mazi Chike Dozim came on air and the makes on pertaining to law banter. They need to move law banter out. Mazi, with intelligent reports. Mazi, we said it. You remember last time when ESN instead part of law banter and they I confronted the full and where they killed many cows. It was ESN that did it. We said it also on radio. We don't take any responsibility. We take responsibility. Because these people were encroaching. There are rape cases in those communities. Now, we have said this thing on many occasions that Enugu Potakot, Enugu Ibocha Road is one of the most dangerous roads, especially that for Kibwe, Lok, Panta, Axis, Umnoch, all these areas because of the Fulani. X Men on radio here. I have said on many occasions there are many kidnapping cases. There are many kidnapping cases. We have traced and they followed people on, on, on the cases and found out that most times the kidnapping money they don't take it to the bank. Any money made from the kidnapping from that axis, they 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 wash that money inside the cabinet. As the last time, last time, okay, Z, it has also towards his end of administration demolished some motels around that place because many kidnappers, when they kidnap people along that route, you may think they are in the bush. That is one thing people don't understand. They may take you walk around, walk around, and return back to the place they will keep you. They keep you. They go to those hotels. They sleep. The hotel owners also have. Commissions. They, they do. Mas, am I coming out? You are. You are. Okay. Well, I know somebody is disturbing okay. you. Listen. Go on. Yeah. So, so at the end of the day, we have when they kidnap that bishop. Uh, is it that uh, bishop of Methodist Church? 
the way he explained the money was paid. Maze, somebody who paid 100 million and money was dispatched very easily. 100 million. Is it the bank? Imagine the banks, people, if you go and put some money, they are asking you, where do you bring the money? Who is putting the money in the bank? They put those money, it become a place. Lord Manta have become a den of criminals. Became a den of kidnappers. And their people are importing them. They come there, they just need one or two contacts. They start the kidnapping business. The military also are also supporting some of them. Mazi, I can tell you there was a there is a military they put there, military checkpoint, they put that place from the back of that law panther. There was somebody that was kidnapped. Some of our intelligent men they realized that that person that was kidnapped, when they searched the whole of that area, they said they feel there is a back gate in that law panther. When they kidnap people, they close your eye, they bring you inside that military post. They hide, they keep you there. People can search the whole of the bush. They won't get you until the until the, the, the ransom is paid. They bring you up from that. So that they don't, you may think they are living in the bush. We are in the bushes because of them. We are in the bushes. Do you think that people love living in the bushes? We are in the bushes because they are camping there, but now ESN is already taking over. They are using all, not only in that place, in many places, the Hausa people have their businesses. It is also a place. They, they watch any kidnapping money, any ransom they receive from, from kidnapped victims. Now, let me tell you this thing from underground. Even some of the governors, some people are now against OT. I'm telling you, for trying to do the right thing, 70 dead. But that is just that is, that is I mean, there are many people missing. And on people don't countless, even know people countless are. skeletons, countless. Countless. Imagine where on earth can you find those kind of things? And the people kept silent. In some places, you would have seen protest in that place. That is to show you how... Do and Mas, let me tell you, you know most of these guys, hmm? you know most of these guys, they kidnap. There are some of the people, when you talk, they don't listen. I'm telling you. And you guys say, oh, no, I they happen. Or oh, where they may not happen. They have you. Some of them are the people that fall these victims. You know why? If it is an IPOB member that got kidnapped, we will know. Most times we will know. Even if Ali takes him, we know. If they kidnap, remember what happened in, in, in a bony state. One IPOB member, an IPOB member was in a box that the Fulani people kidnapped. We meet we, an IPOB member. I'm not telling you in a police state. I think everybody saw it. One of the kidnapped victims was an IPOB member. He quickly sent a message, and the ESN in that axis was reinforced. That particular kidnapping that we rescued that bishop and the one pastor, that the police later came and started disturbing the community. Because an IPOB member was kidnapped by a full army. And we taught them a lesson. None of them escaped from that place. None of them escaped. I think there were around five of them. Five of them. Nobody escaped. Everybody was gone down. That is how serious we are in this the life of our people for one person yes that's why they can kidnap people disappear them they can do anything they want but what we are fighting these guys are terrorists kidnappers then the nigerian government themselves when they hear that somebody say kidnapper they go to the extent of destroying his home or the wealth he acquired from that but these people come to our place 
They kidnap us, take our money, they move out. They don't own a property in our place. Most of them are foreigners. Mazi, what I am saying for Law Panther, I urge uh, the governor of Abia State to send out more people, collect intelligence. We don't want to get involved. Because when we get involved now, you know, they will say, oh, he's an IPOB governor. He's a member of IPOB. We are not getting involved. But if they need our intelligence, because you know what they do, if we step in, you know, these governors, they have a problem. All of them. They don't want to give the credit to those who credits are due. That is the problem they have. Most of them listen to Radio Biafra. As I'm speaking now, most of they have people they, they stationed to listen to Radio Biafra. It was last week when I talk about the the the, the barrier and this. And I think they have come out. Anambra have sealed one mass barrier place. They were they making investigation for forensic uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, for forensic uh, evidence. They have sealed it. the same in Igbo land. In Igbo land, this is how mass grave is full in many states, especially in Igbo states. Killed by the security operative, killed by the Bubahago militia, they have mass grave. When we come here and talk about it, uh, even if they want to do it, they will not even. We are telling them to give us credit because we know we don't want their credit. But what we are saying is, when we say sensitive things like this, they should take it serious. Because it is for the betterment of Biafra land. It is for the betterment of our people. When some of them are, oh, yeah, yeah, I, want, I want to hear from IPOB, what do I want to hear from Mazen and the Kano, right? these, these guys. But if you come to information, IPOB owns the information, everything happening in Biafra land. We are the center of the communication. Whether they like it or they don't like it, this is up to them. But we pray when the Afra come, they will see the manifestation of all these things we have done. When you see the governors, they come, they forget themselves. Many of them, they come, they, 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 they. How many, let me say, go to Anambra. If Solu doesn't do anything now, I think he's going to two years. This month, Few days ago, make Soludo two years. He remained two years. How can I go there? How can you go there? Now we are in What have you done in Anambra? Many people are being killed. People are being killed. Many mass barriers in Anambra. They just find one. Let them go to Okanot and go and find burial ground. Let them go there. Mass burial. The, the town of Ebakeba. Uh, Let them go to Uli. Go to Osumohu. Go to Ihia. Mbidi. The information are there. Because it's not their brothers. They don't. Two years. Soludo has spent two years already. Two years is gone. Maybe in a short time now, another two years come, he comes out again to contest for another election. When our people are being massacred. In the next two years now, Ayabai again, if Biafra did not come, when he's trying to come and tell you. But now we are telling him things that is happening, things to protect the people. None of them is doing it. Because for us, we say it openly. I, somebody like Tina Samoru, I need nothing from you. I know Chike Doziemo. Am I, they need nothing from you. If if you people were giving people money, thinking, you will not give us. And we know if you bring, we take people. It's so that people will know. So, Mazi, something of love and is something people they know. It is not about only grave. Headless and countless skeletons, rape. They are pushing the communities farther and farther, keep killing people. And the people come out, they should not. As if those people have they ever come out to talk about what is happening to our people in Lagos and the Kano in all these places in our marketplaces that we are being burnt? 
Those people do they even write press release? Mazi, those kind of cases we don't need even to treat it on the radio Biafra. I want this kind of cases get us the name Kaichu Bandia. Because these are the kind of people we need to show, teach them a lesson in Igbo land. Because they are sabotage. Most of them, they, they only see they have nothing to do than eat from sabotage, and that must stop. They were mercy. They were mercy. Okay, let's come before I open the lines. Let's go back to this uh, Imo State election that is coming up in the next two days. Uh, many people are worried, like reports, everything, that, uh, you know, hope of them, uh, um, the result, as, uh, as we know, or anyway, because this is not something new in the Nigeria setting. After all, hope of them was not voted for at all. So he was there anyway. He is there anyway. So uh, people are asking, how really will this monster, or this demon, be dislodged when he has already written the result waiting uh, for that day everything they are going to do that day is uh, just uh, uh, for for doing sake you know you know to fulfill all righteousness to deceive the people that oh election was held whereas they are already having the result and uh, another like um, I don't know how you also see this about this news of uh, you know uh, uh, cancelling all flights to Imo State, banning Governor Hope Zodima from all airports nationwide as from November 8th that was as from yesterday so please you combine them and you also let people understand or what is your view about how this monster will be removed because owing to his actions we see that uh, this is it's an animal it's an animal i'm telling you so please go on marzi yeah marzi marzi thank you so much for this particular question you know um the vocals of them uh, i think the issue of the airport you know our people don't uh, they are not always they don't follow up um, events. You know, I saw the other day, it was it on 5th, they said some women from Federal Girls Secondary School where they're having a program. They came and they came and they said they canceled their hotels and the Marriott. They were lamenting, blah, 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 blah. they canceled our hotel. That is, when I see those kind of things, I say these are the people, the, the people that causing problem in our land they don't what is happening doesn't consign them everybody knew what was happening in Imo state everybody knew what was happening in Imo state the killings for all these years now they say they book hotel booking hotel few days or few weeks few days to the Imo state election that means this kind of people they don't face the reality they don't face the reality. They came, they said, we book a hotel in June. Who cares you book a hotel in June? If they are following the events of what happened in their own state, they will not even put that program during that period. They're supposed to know better. But that's to show you they don't. And if it is something to kill, that is how they will kill them. And they come here and make noise. What is IPO be doing there? What is IPO be doing? They kill our person there. Because government will not talk to them. Nobody will speak for them. Now, the one of the airport, I think that is because Ajero was beaten by hopes of them in Malaysia and talks. Um, you know, they try to demonstrate. Didn't you see what um, um, the, the APC government said? He said, Jero, what he's doing is a uh, partisan. That is partisan. He's supporting. That's why he's doing all those things. What happened is this. They, they, they asked the... Since they couldn't allow him to protest, so they asked the aviation staff, since all of them are part of the Nigerian Labor Union, they understand me, and asked them to go on... So no flight will be coming into Imo State. Um, maybe they found out it's not... Uh, working very well it's not going to so that's why they took it upon to block also the abuja 
the Abuja airport today. As many people were stranded in Abuja. Um, I think that is all they can do. You know why I don't uh, worry so much about this kind of people? Sometimes they want to cut a deal, which we don't know. I cannot speak for them. But that is what they feel they can do. If they are doing it genuinely, all good. But if I'm doing it, but I do not have trust in the Nigerian Labour Union. Because these are not a bunch of corrupt civil servants. He came there, they beat him, he left, they go to organize other places. You understand me? Where have they where have they been all this time? Mazi, that the killing is going on in Imo State. Where have all those guys been? You know how many civil servants have been killed in Imo State? You know how many people the criminals have killed in Imo State? They are nowhere. And don't be surprised. The timing of what they are doing matters so much. By tomorrow, a deal will be struck. And they all walk away. Because they, they, they everything most of these people do you saw when they threaten they will shut down everywhere they will shut down when the politicians are coming to them they bring the bag of naira in ghana moscow they put it on the table and they be discussing this is arrant nonsense as those things are happening do you see any seriousness in it yes it's aviation they have uh, asked their workers but they won't last hope most of them are um, uh, we not worry. It is nothing for him, for me. It is nothing for him. Um, people, there are there are there are police checkpoints from Portacot, um, uh, we're at Portacot Road every 300 years, or even uh, so people can move to Igbocha and fly. If people find their way to Asaba, they can fly. People find themselves to Oka and Amla, they can fly. So for me, I don't see it. Instead, they are even giving him more opportunity. Because all the people he want them to come in, they have all come in. There is, for example, they will all land, if the airport is not working, they will land in Oka. He will send a Scott to come and bring them. They will land in Ibocha. He will send a Scott to come and bring them. All the people he want to use to rig the election. Already, they're already in the hotel. They're already in the hotel. Since fourth. So they closed it at a very long time. That is my own assertion on that particular one. But, um, uh, coming to Hopos or Mamazi, the only thing we are saying is we encourage people who want to vote, like we did during the, 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 uh, this thing. We tell people, if you are going out there, just be careful. What we are talking about, people to, for those who want to vote. But if a vote makes no meaning, Mamazi. Because already, this time around, no more beavers. Now it is written results that they have already written and filled and put everything down. So what are we talking about? Now, in, 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 do you know how much billions of dollars Nigeria uses and imported the beavers machine that it will make the election? They have used it and do their Ujuru, the last election. Now we go back to, to manual counting. Mazi, does it make any sense? They will bring results, just only change dates. And they stamp. That is it. So, we are not expecting anything, but one thing, things can translate to other things. For us, for me, and for the IPOB leadership, we want to see, it doesn't matter who overtook over power from home, it's just to make sure that the killing and burning of people's property should not go on. That is the most important thing. So it's not that any of them, both whether it's coming from Labour or coming from PDP, none of them is going to do anything. They were all politicians before now. What are they going to do? Is it the man that go to Aka? He was a politician now. Is it not a former senator? You understand me? The only one, why you see us doing something and the people want to ride on the back? Oti has never been a politician, a serving, a, 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 he didn't serve. Had he been, he has served there, he won't even do these things he's doing. 
and the, the pressure that is on ground and somebody who wants to work will work. It's not because Labour is doing something in Imo State. You feel that this man, I go to Aga, is coming to do something or PDP. We know them. But one thing is that there is always a lesser devil. At least we know if they come into, they may not be like who killing of our own people in this way. At least the two of them, they are not armed robbers like who before he became a governor. They were not into, into ritual, moral, and all these things before they, they became governors. At least they, they will have conscience. The only thing is they will steal more money and they run away and they go and bank it outside and do the normal way they do. It's not that they are coming to save the state. But one thing is this, we need the state to come back to its entertainment city. It is a leisure town. It is a place every weekend people come from all parts of you understand me, and to come and have leisure. It's a city of entertainment. And all of a sudden, this uh, Udelone Riozu just came in and destroyed that city. When we talk about our people coming back home, coming to invest, you know, entertainment and all these uh, businesses, they, they flourish. And already, Imo State have already built that before hope coming. This was a place every day, every every weekend, you see people moving from Anambara going to going to all that business have been moved to Asaba now. And other places. So that is the main thing. That is my own interest. And I know that is also the same view. I'm not talking, what I'm saying here is not something the leadership agreed on. This is my personal opinion because the leadership have no official statement pertaining to um, uh, go and uh, rather it is the INEC officers that the leadership because after our investigations we try to compile those who are going to because these are people already compromised they already compromised they did it for him in the assembly in the in the in the state assembly in February these were people they use so they're repeating again they did a, jo a good job for him so they are using them again um, and Mars, one thing there one thing there is uh, when you see the list of those men INEC officials only one person among many of them uh, is only from Imo State so they, they just that bring them so right. that after they will do his dirty job and they will disappear no person they will know them they Mas, and enjoy their it. money they come in they do the dirty job, they disappear. Nobody sees them. That is exactly what they want. And that is why they bring them from Adia. Bring them from neighboring this. You don't know them. They come do the job, they, they disappear. That is what they are doing. So, uh, but one thing I'm, I'm looking at, which I know the leadership is looking at, the outcome. That's why we say the INEC officials, whatever they do in Imo State, we must pay them a visit. Because most of them you see, we lose that most of them we have gotten all their information and nobody will go free. Whatever happens on Saturday, we are watching. And the INEC, and I and let me ask this question because it's a time for those who are support say democracy. Yes, we cannot stop democratic process. We are not against democracy. But I am saying and I'm asking the Western world, the British government, the United States of America government. I'm asking them, is this the way democracy is being run in your own place? Is this the way election is being run in your own state? That is one thing. Is this the way election is being run in your own state? And after, go to the court, you do all this kind of uh, rubbish and put a criminal in power. Because we, we will, that is why when you see the INEC offices are being attacked, do you pity them? Do you pity them? It is, these are the things that makes people very angry because this particular institution called Independent Nigerian Electoral Commission is one of the worst institutions in that contraction called Nigeria. Nigeria doesn't move forward is that institution. Nigeria doesn't progress in democratic uh, uh, um, um, issues is that institution because it is it is it is a group of kinders and criminals who will go at any length to make sure that a criminal is in possession somebody they will hold on ransom 
who will be oh if i read the election for you or guy you go give me job or you go give my people this you know these are the kind of rubbish even though the money they take they still need maybe he will uh, appoint one of his brother give him one contract in the state that is the rubbish that is going on in the woman oh there were just like what you said um you know lion neck i i will conclude it by telling people to also remember atihuru jega's uh, confession that he's tired of uh, regional elections he confessed even before he died that he's tired of atihuru jega was the INEC uh, chairman i think uh, uh, nationwide he confessed that how INEC has been rigging elections in Nigeria that's it so we must continue we will go into just few minutes break Ma Maze, yes Maze, before we go into the break okay. I'll tell you something okay Proposal of them is presently few minutes ago he was on channel television because when we talk about how do you understand me? His, uh, how, how he he have stood against the release of Mazen Nandekano. I want to use this up because he's on channel television. He said he's working together with Ohanese for Mazen Nandekano release. Says who was on him. And I'm using this opportunity to debunk all the rubbish he, the interview he granted in that place. Who was on him have not. Let me say this thing. Before Professor Biozo died, Everybody could remember Professor Biozo. They were going for the release of Mazen Namdekano. And the hope was of them frustrated it because hope wanted to be at the center of the negotiation. Hope was of them until Professor Biozo died. Hope at many occasions. Hope will counter if they want to, when they will ask them to hope we, they, they, they continue hanky panky. Who is coming to release Mazen Nandekano? He said he's working with Ohanese. Which Ohanese? Is it, is it the other day that is taking Uche Mefo? Uche Mefo, this thing, say that is the adoption, what they have adopted. Shoot, Mazen, the news is there. That Ohanese, Iwanian will publicly say it is which a for a is 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 it a memorandum or which a for strategy is what they have adopted to, to work with and the, one of the strategy of which a for is to destroy IPOB and the destroy Nande Kano. This is the Ohanese who oh, are them is talking about it. And I want every media person, all our media YouTube warriors, I want every one of you to pick up, go to channels. This program was just posted by 941 PM, I think around 7 there in the Afro land. I want everybody to go there listening to what that criminal, the lady Eliozo. Oba Jule Doro, he remember to go to social media, to channels. He want to go and clear air that uh, 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 he's working with Ohanese. Which Ohanese? Ohanese. Mention the name. Is it Iwanian? He want us to say what Iwanian they say in the back? These people want us to say what they their discussions in the background. They want us to make, so that people will say these boys cannot keep information when we give it to them. Look at hope. So, hope it is you and Ohanese, you are working with Ohanese. Look at the rubbish he's talking. And I'm telling their friends, hope is not working with any Ohanese. Ohanese is not working for the release of Mazen Namdekano. We know many of them. We know the groups where they gather and talk. They only take information. Let me tell you, some of them, some of them, I, I'm just saying this, and most of you, when Enugu election, uh, Anambra election, all of you were running around, with people talking, whoa, 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 we look at you. Election has finished. Where is Nandekano? We look at you, people, we laugh. We are not looking at any one of you because we know you are full of lies. Before may his soul rest in peace, Pam, Mazrika, Mechi, we know the frustration. All of them gave Pam, Mazrika, Mechi, before that man died, the frustration from Obiozo, from Obiozo furniture. 
they frustrated him as we can make that at a point nobody said nobody nobody want to follow Mazimba Zrika Mechi to go and speak on behalf when they were saying where are the elders of the reason none of them somebody have to fly from America to join them another person one of them there said he doesn't have money for ticket that he will not go unless that old man I'm telling you people unless Pan Bazrika Mechi buy him a flight ticket and he's somebody well known in Biafra land that old man has to buy him a ticket for him to join him. And these are people coming to tell us about Ohaneze. Ohaneze, Bukwa, Bukwa, In fact, our people Ohaneze, we are coming for you people. We will, this Ohaneze that have gone up many places outside the Afghanistan to see how to destroy IPOB. Some of their meetings, they are part of the conspiracy ground to destroy IPOB. Oh, Hanese, oh, Hanese, you people are seeing. Forget your nonsense, honey. Eh? But all one day now, one day, monkey go go market, you know, go come back again. That kind of kind of each other. There was, there was. Thank you very much. We will go into just few minutes break so that when we come back, our lines will be opened in order to take some calls please do not go away we shall be right back do not go away we are going into destruction day by day and nothing will bring us out except we will go our different ways that is the only way who you know advance as a people but if you tell me as a nigeria or as a pastor or as a congregation we are still praying for the well-being of nigeria you are still hoping you are still dreaming of a better nigeria you are dead dreaming so there's no better nigeria. nothing is coming out of it so the best thing for us as a people we are not compatible we are not the same people both in religion both in tradition, both in culture, both in behavior, economically, we are we are not the same. So the best thing for us to all go as a separate way. Go our separate way to enhance our individual destiny. What can an individual Nigerians do to achieve this separation? Yes, there are people, let me tell you, IPOB they have done a lot. When IPOB as a separate group, they are telling you they want their own separate country. Sorry, you mentioned IPOB. Yes. Video a video is flying on the internet where the IPOB the crime they are perpetuating. Some of them, the stolen car, the kidnapping, the killing, the shallow grave, they are stealing cars and you know like dismantle the car. Into, yes. Are those people IPOB members? Let me tell you, Nigeria is a lawless country. Anybody who is perpetrating evil or perpetrating crime and ascribing it to IPOB is a sick man. The person is sick on the head. IPOB is a sectional group internationally. Everybody, the world knows these people are freedom fighters. So let me tell you something. People have been able to key in into this ideology. And when you see them going about their enhancement, you don't begin to tell them that they are criminals. Except people who have been able to hijack it. Let me tell you something, there is state-sponsored terrorism going on in the Southeast. The state, the state itself are the ones sponsoring the terrorism in the state. Going about killing individuals, killing occupants, killing, uh, burning their houses, destroying their properties. So when you go to Imo State, what you are seeing there is state terrorism. We are the states who we have voted in or who came through the back door are now going about killing people who they swore to protect their lives and their property. Are not IPOB members. These people are not IPOB members. Let me tell you something. How do you differentiate? IPOB? You will not because we all, we are totally locked down in a lawless country. Whereby the man in the heads of affairs has 
been able to forge his own certificate in order to comply the position. What do you think the remnants will be? What do you think the citizens will be? The man, the first man, who is the president of a, the country, is a criminal. He is impersonating. You understand? The results he did. But that was your candidate. No, no, let me tell you something. Yeah, and this is Nigeria. We are not talking about candidates now. That was the man you voted for. A lot of Nigerians yeah. voted for him. Yes. Without knowing that he is a deception. Yes. That he is evil. Yes. And let me tell you. I'm not saying about the majority, but I know that a lot of Nigeria voted for him. Because he has his own candidates too. There are ABC uh, students also in Nigeria. But we will not tell because he has come into power, we begin to allow him to kill all Nigerians. The primary end for by which we invite inv uh, 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 voted for him was to protect the lives of properties of Nigeria. To so, you know, change our fortune, to so bring light to our darkness, to so provide our daily mail. To provide necessity, the basic necessity. But where are we? I believe today, maybe you have fled from your house to this place. A whole lot of Nigerians throw it to their working places. They cannot afford a common transport, common transport fare to their working place. How much is the minimum wage? How much is the food they eat and consume on daily basis? Talk more of somebody who has children to cater for. It is very unbearable as a Nigeria. You don't have anything to rely on. Neither to weep. Every morning you wake up, you begin to weep. You cry because there is no hope. There is no future. I, it is, let me tell you something. Tinubu himself, the tribunal I know, will not do justice to this matter. The they will not do this justice to this matter. Let me tell you something why I said this. You know, before now, the tribunal, all Nigerians who had a, so much hope on the tribunal. Do you know what happened? They failed Nigerians. And these people, assumably, are the hope of common Nigerians. So when our hopes as common Nigerians are being dashed to the mold, what benefit do we have as Nigerians? So it's separation now. Is this. The best thing is this. I am telling you what you are seeing in Imo State, see in Anambra State, see in Enugu State, see in other parts of Nigeria. South is to be peculiar. Its revolution is coming in its force. It's like a white wind. It's like a white fire. It's unquenchable. It's coming to consume the entire country. country. Right. And if care is not taken, because I know as a Nigeria, when you begin when you are being given by to as a Nigeria, your growing up is just a mess. And you, you, you come up as an a living entity, you are a mess. You graduate, there is no job. Look at the school fees people are paying for their works, their children. You go to schools, they are paying randomly. And when these people, their parents, toil day and night to send them to school, and after graduation, you see these people, there is nothing, no job. They litter around the street, they enter into courtesy, they bring security bridges in the country. That is why everywhere is revibrating. Totally say there is no Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through the auspices of Radio Biafra London. My name remains Maz Jonathan Chini from Alu Province of Biafra London. I'm here with Maz Chini Samore, member of the Directorate of States, who is speaking to all and sundry. Therefore, our lines are now open. Our lines are now open. And our Direct line as usual is plus one two one three three two eight six two two four. I repeat plus one two one three three two eight six two two four. Our WhatsApp and signal number is plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. I repeat plus six one four zero five. One four two five four seven.
please i urge each and every one of us that are that is calling in order to stick to just few minutes go straight to the point and avoid the preamble too much preamble banking and all the rest please if you have question go straight to the point because in this sh short period of time of course i want us to take as much calls as we could please therefore let us start by going to the first caller on whatsapp caller on whatsapp you are the first caller let me see let me see please sorry um i misconnected something now caller on whatsapp you are the first caller please welcome to the program can you hear me can you hear me caller on whatsapp are you there please welcome to the program i think it's ma zichiku in anuhim neku please caller on whatsapp please go on because go, go on please go on sorry Marzi. what is happening just hold on please hold on let me see no hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on Marzi, Chuku, please i misplaced the wire just hold on Yeah, Mazi, Mazi Chiku, you can now go on, please. Okay. Thank you, Mazi Jonathan. My name is Chiku Emmanuel. I'm speaking from my location. There we go. On, Thank please. you once again. Uh, I'm going to tell Mazi Chinasamuru. And the DOS, DOS CD teacher. India did a Swiss theory in the UK. When the robber and body teacher. Eating your barara, never hano. How we can not see UK. Go watch it. To put Kabia Mogaba woman. In no more go. Ihere <laughs> But Chine ke chuko kikabiyama. Jiu mwa madea. Chide siye yike. Chine ke gozie ya nutu nutu. Pongu ya mchware ejo. Ongo roge china asa ni ukuku. Ya kutoku bishop. Agara ha agara. Aga nde. Ho puzo di ma. Sene anye nye amnesti. Ha gano ebe bishop wa ngadu teba. Ebe ha garandia over gone on that year. I did you to you a bar home? Or can you tell you a bar home? Or that I didn't buy. If you are a bishop, who are her? Church, yeah, young bishop, I don't Because when I say one you will not leave, I will to a war war. A mamma got a chandon and cast an old church. So, oga di ma ka kwa ha bishop wa. Ka kwa ha church ya. Ni ina ndi bo tinu eme bo ko tule ya la. Ka kwa ya. Because he ndi bishop wa. He ndi fula ni di bishop wa eme la Nigeria. Ongo ro gane kwoku PVC. Na Delta State. One of the bishop. 
mechara se oyo won la reji eh pvc no ga na to riri riri so na church ndi awon de bishop this ndi aboro bishop aro ha na eme na la nigeria na libo okare ihe na eme maka na mde kanu bi ame he expose kama uru na church na aro ala na efu ezelu so na ha na efu chine ndi aboro bishop na achi bishop so many criminals no na nigeria we ba ha in the name of god jide bible na egbu nde madu wa yo so ya wo te mori kisi ka nyo wo la mmeri he di ana ka pa he na de di obi apa ka ba ya na wo ni ni he de obi apa na me wo igba ndu ohi na nda ma na wo ka de madu nu e ba wo la ka ho hai e me ka mari ya ka ya fu na egbu chi he ge ni ni ha adira mo wa do surprise Gada ta mazi china so nguru le kuhye basra kano ta kano Ani nene anya Analo ye jimakandi akko Iye di stipu une memba hane ku Nana mde kina mde kano na emere di a family Ala uka hana di visi china mde kano Nobody knows me hana ge meba hun wiki si ba walida Some of us are looking at the hana ge ba hun for good for good Nobody knows the hand I gave on AGDC by our leader. You know what I heard? Capital Radio be offer for a dico who are doing no way. There were young women in Super Hadati, there were questions in the official. There were you make a careful way out of what do you know? I am to the oil in Chalk and Tianabani. There were, thank you very much. There were, it's a suggestion. Mazichina, you want to say something about it? Or do I continue? Who just made a call? I'm not only going to call names, but I'm going to release the video. You understand me? The video will be circulated. People will hear the bishop what they are talking. The girls as it is brought in their place. We will make it open. Because if we don't make these things open, we are not hiding it. That's the one thing I, 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 I have said it here. It's not everything we show outside. It's not everything. Anyone you see, anybody you see us coming to call their names, coming to talk about them, know that the handshake has passes the elbow. Things are no more normal. If we keep silent, these guys will use it to blackmail IPOD. At least for now, Nobody is calling IPOB ESN again. It's very, very clear. If you find that, you see that that name, we have taken it away from the enemy's mouth. From all the crimes they are committing. So there is a need to release this video. So that tomorrow, when you see, when they will say some IPOB members uh, have surrendered, now what they will do, they will package it, write a report and give to Army Headquarters or the DSS. They will use it, say these are, they will tell them now what to say. We know many of them, that, uh, many of them that were captured by the government sent to Abuja. They say they will write everything they wanted to say. Say like this, you are like this, you are. If can every, any one of you remember one guy they call um, Onyami, one time, that time Onyendu was not rendition. When they later release him, when they later release him on bail, he said all the things he said there, they, they wrote it. They told him this is, they will write everything they want and they will tell you, okay, be talking like this. You will rehearse it, make the rehearsal many, on many occasions before they start making the video for you. It's when you have gotten what they want, they make video. They now use it to try to blackmail you. Do you people know how many weeks the one they call a Jima? They you know how many weeks they were holding him. He is the same amnesty. He went to take they convinced him to come and take amnesty and 15 million naira. Which he went and they hold him for two weeks to give him rehearsal of what he's coming out to talk. He called out that day and uh, start talking. These are even they don't even know what is DOS. Anytime you see them. You find out that they come and they talk. They don't even know the structure of IPOB. They don't know anything. They say, sometimes some people say the 
um, uh, that Chida Sangwon, his his um, his Aka DOS, his that is his my guy name or not be name. They thought that DOS is one individual or DOS is uh, Chike Dozim and the uh, Chida Sangwon. That is what most of them, those fools, they thought that DOS is a name of somebody. That is how stupid many of them are. So we are going to release this video before the program finish. Maybe other IPOB medias we start circulating it on the social media and people can see all those things we are talking about, the guns, everything. People should see. It's not hidden. Thank you, Mazi. There we were. There were Mazi. Caller on, on signal. Welcome to the program. You have been there since ten minutes. Please go direct straight to your point to the to your question or suggestion. Go on, please. Caller on signal. Our leader Marion Waru, the one issue will bring you greetings from our location. My name is Mazi Bona. Mazi, my question is about the, the infamous, or should I say, the notorious. Uh, Policeman, yesterday, man, you posted on your Twitter handle, Chika Dibia Okabata. The man who is working with the infamous Allah that is in charge of the Abatu in Imo State, called Tiger Base, who they are using to kill our people, harvest their organs. You posted about him on your Twitter handle, which is now S. Please, man, if you can tell us more about him for the safety of our people because in Alile, Meganda, Nebu, Abia, France, we need to know who our killers are so that we can begin to identify them in our land. Mazi, this is my question. If we can do something about it in Dewo. 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 Mazi, Chinasa. Yes, Mazi. Can you hear me? Yes, the whole world is hearing you. Yeah, Mazi, um, uh, the guy I, I posted his picture yesterday. This guy, his name is Chika Didia. Okay, but they call him Kill and Bury. He's in the he's in the Tiger Base. But he's currently currently he's living in Ikebu in Akabo. There is one bus stop there. We following him after Ori Akabo. Ori Akabo. We following him very seriously. You see this guy. He, Mas, your voice ceased. What is happening? They were directing this particular guy. They used to tell him. You know, before this thing happened, we heard that since two months ago is when they started the negotiation of going to surrender to take amnesty. Since two months. This kill and bury is the one who have been guiding him guiding him how to do anybody that oppose he asked him to kill he said anybody that oppose he should kill and this guy is well known he's well known he's well known in burning of houses you know there is one guy in that hour okay there is one guy in that hour i called his name months back i call his name they call him Genzi. I call his name, I think, early 2002 or 2002 middle. I call his name. He was the chief security of Agua. People come and tell me, why you call this guy name? Why you call this guy name? And, uh, he didn't... I think some of his family members was also uh, telling me my brother is innocent. But I asked them one question. When they found that, I told them, ask... Desi, the chief security, who was working with this, the same kill and bury. I asked him, where is JP, John Peters, and the Wazurike, the two IPOB members they kidnapped. And they said they took them to type this. Master, am I coming out clear? Ah, uh, yes, you are. I asked them. I said, I have a report that you, Desi, because his IPOB were hope was the and you people. Because that boy was IPOB. He did you nothing wrong. You kidnapped him, 
say you handed it over to Tiger Banks. The mother of this guy has been going there looking for more than one year. With another IPOB member they call him was Rike. He kidnapped these two people, they picked them until today. We don't know if it's and the eyes are making it very clear. Gezi remains wanted by IPOB until they provide these two people. He will never anywhere we see him in Agua, anywhere we see him, we will get him down. Until he tells us where is Owazrike and Jetty. And that is all I will say. We will never forgive on that particular issue because those were innocent IPO members. It is the collaboration. It is when I declare he wanted, he left Agua. And these are criminals. These criminals in Agua, he was not pursuing them. He was looking the soft IPOB members, innocent ones. These were the people we were killing. But you see, Uwazrike and the JP, Geza and the Bear, Kill and Berry, Chikodika, they must provide these two IPOB members. We will never forget it. We will never forgive it. They said they are in Tiger Base. The mother have gone there. They pursued the mother on many occasions. And uh, I will leave it like that. You see this guy? They are the ones. They work with the guy they call Ola. The Yoruba guy. I have called his name. They are the one in charge of the Tiger Base. That Ola is the one that holds the key. The secret cell. Hopes of them have in the government house. Anybody hope to put there, either you are organ with the sword, either your organ will be sold. In fact, if they put you there, you never come out. When he locks you inside, he hands both hopes of them over the keys. Or lack, he work with these guys. Maze, these that's why we put their pictures. And as Ma, Maze, that them, Ola is a Yoruba man, right? He say your man. He Ma say organ harvester for hope of the man. Can you He's ever notorious. have a man as a, a, a king? No, no. In, in Europe, uh, he, he's the chief. In Europe, people. He's the chief the security use. for hope of the man. He's his chief security. He is the one that holds the key, lock our people under the custody of hope of the man, and they. These people, we, 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 you understand me? For now, you know, many of them, they are like China Samaneri. He's living inside the government house. The election have come out, he's coming out. You know, all this why most of you don't see him. He, he's hiding inside the, they give him one area. He's living inside the government house. They know. But what I'm saying, are they going to live there for how long? China Samaneri will live there for how long? These police officers will live there for how long? Hope of them will live there for how long? Time will reach. I told you people last time that Hope told his family members as they are making money, catching their own people. They catch, if you cannot bring money, they kill. The ones they will sell their organ, they will send. At the end of the day, he told them, anybody make, you know, if I don't win office, everybody have to find, buy house in another state, or another country where you will relocate. Because you know these people will come after us. They know. They know we will come after them. They know. For now, they may have the security and protect themselves, but that is not going to save them. It's not. Good. Some people say, "Oh, we talk. We may, we take our time. We take our time. We will not because maybe we are pursuing you. We sacrifice anybody because it's your head we want. It may take us time. Although on." Direct line. Can you hear me? Welcome to the program. Caller on direct line. Are you there? Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Please go on. Go on. Straight to the to your question or contribution. Please. Dr. Jonathan, and uh, thank you, General Tina uh, Sanwaru. Uh, um, two things or three things I'm going to say. One, the gravity of of the dump site, the mass grave found in Abia State in Lopanta. Um, we need to give our the governor there all the backing. I disagree with the issue of the publication 
that says uh, some evil groups. Remember, when our union was out, he used to remind us of the tactics of DSS. That evil group was a fabrication of DSS. You can put any name, you can put a TTP, you can put Benjamin there. If they know that it's an evil group properly, let them come before a television and do it. They did that publication, it was, it first came out on, the, on Vanguard, then it moved to Punch. The, it was a test run, so that other people like Hanese will now say, okay, <clears throat> we, we, we condemn uh, Governor Oti. It was meant to beat Oti back. It was, it was meant to give leverage for them to start attacking Oti. And before you know it, Oti will be on his own. That is reverse psychology. We must not lose sight of that. And I'm happy that some people took note of that during the, the, uh, the uh, during the week in Twitter. Now, my question to you, sir, is this. Now we are finding mass grave sites in the Afra land, particularly the one mentioned in Anambra State. Dr. Soludo is not like Roku Zodema, who is uneducated, who is a pure illiterate. Dr. Soludo is far ahead of him in terms of intelligence and in terms of knowledge. Now, with this issue found in Anambra and the wife of our eternal leader is involved from the news we have got. And Dr. Uh, Professor Obinkel, who is a lawyer, who is learned, yes. They are all involved in that case. My question is this. How prepared are they? Do they have all the forensic things to, to go into that mass grave and make sure that the people, our brothers and sisters buried in that grave, were properly identified? And not just identifying them, that those responsible for them will be brought to justice. It must not be like the one of uh, of uh, what you call it, it will be, oh, uh, we did a, uh, we did a, um, we did an autopsy of 35 corpses killed in a, uh, in a, uh, in the river. And then after that, the federal government stopped us. My brother, Biafra Sitio Hogo, this one that officially admitted in Anambra State, I got this year. Now, coming to Imo State, where we have been seeing mass graves, what are we going to be doing to make sure that they don't come overnight to, to, to tamper with those uh, mass, mass graves? That is my question. Thank you, sir. There were, there were. Maze China, sir. Yeah, Maze, there were. Thank you so much. Um, you see, um, um, I don't like to praise somebody or I will not want to give credit to anybody until the person, you know, proves and they show the people exactly not to come and romance us because many things, like what you said about Soludo, yes, you might be educated more than hopeless or the man, but sometimes there are hands that ties them down and also sometimes um, uh, like you, you just rightly say, it will be for many years. We don't know what maybe he was hoping to be Nigerian president, but maybe they have denied him the president. Now he has come out and said a truth. He would have said all this why. The question is why now is he saying this thing? I know certain things. Um, uh, they may say the uh, uh, um, confidentiality. Do you understand me? Things to keep um, keep things um, uh, confidential. But these are the lives of our people. I do not understand why um, to be waited all these years before he let, when people have I could I could remember when Uche for accused him on the Ajezera television about killing our people dumping in a zoo river i saw his body language he tried to deny it he said it never happened even till upon in a national television now he now later came to told us that he did every autopsy but the government 
stopped him and took over the case. That's how they killed the case. But have you learned anything? Can Soludo do better? Because what we are talking about, mass grave. Remember, there was also mass grave we saw one time around 10 skeletons. I think in the Oruba area, there is also around 10 people. Their, their bodies, their skeletons scattered everywhere. There is nothing they say. What we are saying is let them go into, they know the people committing all these crimes. They know the, they know it is the military. It is not today. Extrajudicial killing is by Nigerian military and police. In Okuzu, Okuzu Sass is still killing. As for the Nkalo and the Bianco, no, they're following this committee. We are not going to predict what we don't know because these people think surprises. That's why I say I'm not going to give. What we are saying is they should go far beyond that one um, 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 mass grave they found. Because there are many in Anambara. I have mentioned some of the places mass grave are there. They are holding some criminals. They can ask the criminals to take them. They will dig this mass grave, pour acid chemicals into the into the into the pits when they bring the dead bodies they throw so that the smell will not go they throw it will melt the bodies only the skulls and bones some of you there has i have one of the video but it is very horrific to show it is very it is you, facebook cannot allow it facebook cannot allow it these are the things happening in our place and I wish that the human rights groups, you know, you know, the human rights groups I'm talking is not, uh, I'm just talking about those, like inter society, they are doing a very great job. Trying to keep records, follow things that are happening in our place. Keeping records, inter society is doing a very great job because some of this job they are doing, if IPOB prepares them, uh, people will say, oh, IPOB is biased because they are fighting with Nigerian government. But at least there is an independent body but go take their time and they make their investigation. Even if IPOB says something, they take their own time, make investigation, and keep the record straight. So, Marzi, what we are expecting is they say they seal off the places. We want to see what their investigation will be, and we will continue. What we are doing is giving them tips and information that we help them to work. Because if I POD, as Nandi Bonasi, no one can manage.
using our guests to do, especially in this place I am in Ghana. And I've heard many people say that they are also be in some African countries and other countries around the world. The way some people are using our guests for prostitution. As a, this thing is very, very unfair and very appalling because the one that will break my heart is some small, small children that have not even developed breasts that they use them for prostitution. And if it keeps silent like this, you don't know the person that it will be. Now, maybe tomorrow your, your brother or the person's sister or any relative will find victim. Because if you ask some of those guys now, they will tell you that. If you ask them, they will tell you that they don't know that they are going to do this work, that their uh, madam or someone that will bring them there said they are going to do some, uh, maybe saloon or other work there. They will not know that they are taking them for prostitution. And if they do, if they bring them here, they will force them to into prostitution. Some of them are very there, but if they use stamps and hook some of those girls down. I know it's all the IPOB and do that can maybe bring solution or do anything about it because our leaders, those that call our leaders, they're not interested in us. They're only after their own selfish interest. They can't do anything about it. I know maybe some of them will know about it, they cannot do anything about it. So that's my there question. Were. There were, there were. Thank you. Mazi Chinasa, please. We are gradually heading towards the end. Mazi Chinasa. Yeah, Mas, um, just to answer this, our brother, the first question he asked, um, Mas, diplomatically, IPOB is doing very well. I can tell you that. I'm not going to mention the, the areas or the countries or the regions we are working seriously. Like I have said, we have worked, we have made every effort, consultants, in America, in Europe, for many years. And uh, we continue to push also from that side. But we have made a 360 degree turn. Diplomatically, the IPOB leadership is on fire. And I know in a short time, the results will speak for itself. That's all I will tell you on that. Then, uh, Mazi, you know, I didn't want to talk about this, but people will say that Libo, Nanina, you know, we are but sometimes I say Mevoko Teleyala. You know the way we behave sometimes I the can brono. But sometimes I will not see that as people that are cost. It's only that we since after the war we lost. They have successfully destroyed the fabric of our society. They've successfully destroyed anything about us with religion. They brought religion, hoping we hope that religion would have preserved certain things, even character, even behavior, even mindset. Rather, this you, you know the people that you mentioned bringing our people as prostitutes, underage girls. I'm telling you, if you go, some of them are big uh, uh, personnel in the churches. They are aware of that. They know. Our people have seen some devilish and evil businesses as a way of life. Because many churches condone it. They don't condemn it. They want, if you're a criminal, come to the church. God has forgiven you. It doesn't go that way. If God is forgiving people, when they say you have been forgiven, forgiven, why are we still suffering? In the first place, why 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 was there laws for punishment? If you do this, you die. You do this, the Ten Commandments. Why? But the churches make it that a criminal, they say nobody to judge him, or, but they know he's a criminal. Don't judge him, don't judge him so that God will not judge you. This is only in our society I see these things. But if you go to other people, our behaviors, sometimes we are not the only one in abroad. Other countries, other nationalities are also, but the question is, why are, our people are so desperate in this way? To make money? To make money to buy a second-hand vehicle and build a house and take a chieftaincy title? Mazi, there are issues. We are not going to handle every issue at the same time. That issue is a very, very disturbing issue. 
yes, the leadership have to look into it. But I feel what we can do now is, for example, there are many IPOB families. I can tell you there are many IPOB families. They, they before you even join them, they will ask you to sign a certificate of good conduct that you are part of IPOB. We are doing it. There are countries doing it already. I am very, very sure in Asia is very rampant that you are a member of IPOB. You won't involve in certain kind of businesses, certain things that we bring or drag the name of IPOB and the Biafran struggle on the floor. Because you might be part of IPOB family tomorrow, you go and do something that will bring shame. We know people can commit anything, but we are striving to make sure that if you come under IPOB, at least you must have conscience. You must know that certain things have never project our people in a good image. Internationally, our people have forget about a few individuals that uh, oh they have uh, they are you know, they are American they have this passport but does that wipe out the stigma against us against this kind of businesses our people are doing because the love for mankind have grown. no more humanity our people have turned to different things. I'm not going to promise you that we are going to start fighting, but I believe on this platform, we have to continue to educate our people they need to live. Because if we say, let us pick up that fight, it's a hold, we will lose focus. I'm telling you, yes, it is not good, but that is why we are pushing. Our people behave somehow. If our place start developing, if businesses keep our people busy, they are very industrious people if you keep them busy. If we start to develop our place, Mazi, those things will gradually eradicate. When people have something doing, they can they, you can have electricity, you can you can have a job that you can feed yourself, you have something doing. Sometimes it will be very difficult to convince people to leave. And we also try our, 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 our way of life. We see many countries. I, let me tell you, apart from now, maybe there is war in Sudan. I know Sudan very well. Any young lady cannot travel outside the country if you are not traveling with your husband or if you are not traveling with, um, uh, um, with, uh, with if you are going to school. Your father or your family member must follow you to go to the school. These are and many countries are like that. Even this side we are living. They are not doing it because they know when your women are being molested, damaged, doing prostitution, your men have no respect. Nobody respects you. Around the world, when your women are moving around, you know, for, nobody will respect you as a man. And sometimes I ask. This, you see our young ladies, 15 years, 16 years, all got a hustle. What? She's not even going to school. All got a hustle run abroad. 15 years, 16 years. She want to make money and buy. That time you start to wonder, where do we go from here, Marcy? Even some of them. My brother, let me tell you also, you see some of those girls you see, they bring up. They say they didn't tell me, they told me I'm coming to work. Some of them know also because the life they were living also, it is what make them to spot them. Maybe he was doing some gara, gara in the community, doing all this in the, gara gara in the street. They say, no, this one is good. They pick. I know there are innocent ones. I know the ones then. But you found that most of them... You don't even, even if you want to help them, they will tell you they are not going back to Nigeria because they feel there is suffering there. So, Maz, uh, what we will do is we just raise our voice, but we can't take it as a project because it will be a heavy distraction. When you take it up as a project, Nigerian government will move and push many girls aside and keep you busy. Where you are pursuing, then you start fighting. They start fighting, you are interrupting with their businesses. 
it will be it is a secondary issue and will not be one of our primary assignment and to just quickly add something like what you said honestly speaking all these things um as long as we never have a Biafra republic our country where we control we make laws uh, the only thing we continue doing in NS is this education that is coming out on Radio Biafra and also uh, on some uh, social media platforms, you know, because um, what I see, you mentioned religion, is one of the core issues. We, they put us into a religion that is a capitalist religion. Cap I call it capitalist. Mas, you, you just gave an example about uh, Sudan and other conservative uh, other religious conservative places they don't joke with their women that is right to protect their image of course but they put of us course. in a place a kind of religion whereby everything is about money respect money 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 so together with the type of people we are naturally no grooming again all oh, everything is let loose everybody both men and women you know sometimes mass eh, some places you know you see that uh, even you become ashamed as an evil man i am telling you I'm, as an evil man you yes. become yeah, completely you become ashamed. Ashamed. because of the ashamed. actions of the women our women now yes. was there, shall we hear our something women. we didn't know our girls our girls yes because uh, we are now in a place whereby now the religion we are you completely nailed it it is one of the main cause of this culture now everybody wants they don't want to know what you are doing uh, push out everybody everybody wants to go to make money no more morality no more conservatism no more our you know our tradition and culture that give respect to women which is what we are trying to educate us we go back there you know Mazi, without the coming of biafra i i lie honestly I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought. honestly but we must call um, yeah. on um, what's up please go on you are the second to the last caller caller on what's up please go on sir to the point okay good evening uh, my professor Jonathan. I greet you especially, and, and uh, I also extend my greeting to our GOC, the man I call the voice of Thomas. Mark, I'm hearing myself. Go on, go on, go on, go on. It's from you, not here, please. Okay. Go on. Mm. So, um, I want to, I want to ask a question and also had a contribution to what the last caller said also but first of all the question is uh, we have seen how uh, the the mandate of people is working in abia abia biafra land which is uh, uh alex oti and uh, with the step alex oti has taken Maze, uh, I don't know. I begin to think about this so many times because uh, him himself, I'm talking on the aspect of security and uh, protection. Because what he has done in North Banta, I know Ohaneze will be against him, despite they are issuing one kind of a statement. So, what do Biafrans, let me use Biafrans, or IPOB? have you know as a measure for the protection of alex Oti because he has drew a battle line and as he has done this i know that the caliphate uh you know they are working very as in day and night towards alex so you know these people that don't make noise but with the, the step alex Oti has taken both of will be against him and even the caliphate that he has uh taking this boldness to you know challenge will be against him and also in an uh, emo state election they have seen the mandate of people how it can be and i know they are also working to ensure that uh, such a thing did not happen again in biafra land so that's my question i don't know the measures ipob has taken towards the protection of uh, alex Oti then secondly uh, 
on the question our brother asked, and I just want to make a contribution please, towards it one our minute, one minute, one minute, please. Uh, all right, towards our girls in our bro, because. I'm living in Senegal. I will use myself. I'm in Senegal and I see a lot of our girls, 18 years, 17 years, doing this very prostitution. I don't know if IPOB, because we have Igbo organization here and we have uh, state leaders here, like Anambra State, uh, Enugu State, and so. Is there a way IPOB can communicate with these people? So that our people can be guided, because on a mekumu wa ifere, as in on a memu abo mazidi dof ifere, seeing our ladies on this prostitution uh, lifestyle, which even the indigenous of the land don't give our women respect, and if they do their uh, prostitution, you can see another African ma, ma, people ma, not, with them. Ma, not the women. Even you, they don't the give you respect. The girls, not the women. Yes, they yes, don't of give course. You respect. Yes. So what I'm saying is, if IPOB can communicate with all this uh, com uh, Igbo community elder, like here in Seneca now, is from Anambra person is the president of uh, Nigeria here in Senegal as presently so if ipob can communicate to all these people to you know bring to their mind towards all this because many of them may see it but they overlook it so this is what i want to i don't know if ipob can take a step towards that end because uh, me myself i am ashamed to see our people in this very way of life they were massive they were they were they were i want to say something um, um politicians and the IPOB we go into parallel lines. Our lines we never meet. Whether it is Alex Oti. I have said this thing. We are not going to praise any one of them. Because it's anytime you praise them, how work in our life. We're not going to praise anybody. Because it's their duty. It is their duty to develop their city. You know, I am Alex Oti in power. It makes me to think, say, is there anything special he's receiving that OKZ Bazu did not receive in the last past eight years? And OKZ left the city. So for him, he's doing the right thing. What he's doing is what the people want. And anybody doing what the people want, IPOB have no problem with you. There are something people don't understand. When South Sudan was fighting to have their own independent nation, they did not destroy Juba. In Juba, business was going very well. Why? They were fighting for freedom. But the mindset of these criminals that came that want to destroy our that when, when you have your independence, you must start from somewhere. You are not going to start just from the, this, from, from the street. There must be structures that are there. When the Rita was fighting Ethiopia, Asmara was there as a capital. Businesses were going on. Life was also going on while they fight. We expect our states, our roads, to be built, even if we are fighting for freedom. It is their responsibility, because the money is there, there is given to them. That is one thing some of our people don't understand. When you talk, why we are fighting for what we are fighting, would that stop our place not to develop? It is when even as we are fighting, them, many things they will do it because we are pushing for it. If you keep silent, they go back to them. Some of them are doing something today because they are afraid of what IPOB will do. Maybe they don't have the strength to start fighting us. So, one thing is sure, Alex Soti, let him do what he knows is right in this state. We don't have any problem. Doing some building road is not stopping our freedom from coming. Building a seaport is not going to stop our freedom from coming. 
it will be an advantage. Even during the war, during the civil war, they say roads were even more better than now, that there is no war. They say roads were better. I could remember when I go to primary school along the Kene Road, we, the roads are good. Talk less of now that we're even mature, that all Jews or Carlo, to your gen of them are Pokezim, as they abandon everywhere. Some roads, nobody has built them, nobody has touched them for 20 years. So, for Alex Oti or those who are trying to put up, not uh, one structure, our one kilometer road, they start clapping hand, clapping hand, people start praising them. No need to praise them, let them do the work. That is why they are being, people voted them in. People like Alex Soti will not say, um, I was being disturbed for one thing or another. He has all the chance he has to build at it. Even Soludo, he has all the chance he has to do anything, develop the city. So, all these things, anybody developing our place, we have no problem with that, because development has nothing to stop what we are fighting. These are different people, we are different people. You talk, you see this issue of prostitution, our ladies, my brother, it is not only you that feel ashamed, every man will feel ashamed. But one thing is this, the only way I can tell you, because another person, you came up and raised the topic again. In IPOB, we do our own things. If we can be able, those that are bringing them, we will start with them. Because I know they have the contact who are bringing them for prostitution. Do you understand me? If you like, you hold them with Juju. If we can start getting the information of those who are gathering them, the ladies can be able to talk. This is the person who is bringing us. We go into Igbo Union, Igbo, Igbo groups in abroad. We have been part of The only thing Igbo people do in abroad is Ekupunwa Church. End of the year. Somebody, the father died or the mother died. Agabare Ambaru. That's the only thing Igbo Union does in abroad. They have nothing else. They have no mission. So going to tell them this, you are going to waste your time. If we want to participate, first we start. Who are those agents bringing them? We start with those people. When we start with the agents, do you understand me? We will catch some of them and we will show them on newspaper. We will show them on social media. We catch them and show them. And they start to educate the people. As you see this person because you can he can go to Adia and recruit he can go somewhere and recruit he can any girl who is who who even is interested to tell us who are the ones involved give us the information we start to look for the people and ask them why they have come this far just to destroy the Igbo race Maze, every man will be ashamed unless somebody who have never been abroad if you see how today in Dubai they have pursued them, if you go to Dubai sometimes, see our girls, what they were doing in Dubai, you will cry. You will not even want to be called an evil man. And the, the, the worst part is that you parents, you guidance, who allow a 15 years old girl, 16 years that's supposed to be, I, I saw one video, Marzi. I, I saw one video. One small girl, 17. They are below 17, 16. They, they, they were asking them their body count. This one said 17 men. This one said 15. This one. Girls of 15 years. Marzi, you know, these, these things is... You know, social media have exposed things that you can't even open your mouth. I have some friends that used to tell me, said, your respect is first from your women how your women behave that is how people will respect you people when your women don't behave right nobody respects you and what he said is right there are countries their women cannot go to do house help for any family apart from their own people of course but to leave their own man. people to go to do house help for another nationality they don't do it they can only do house help because they know their self they know their own people they can only do house help for their own people they cannot stand up and travel to another country to even the countries that allow their people to go they have a protection package 
they can come for you. They, like the Filipino government, you go to do a house job in the Gulf country. The government of Philippines can shut down and call back their people, the ambassador, because one Filipino died or one Filipino is being or killed. You can see the effort of the government. Our people, even last time there was an ambassador, an ambassador in Kuwait who wanted to import young girls. He's an Amusa ambassador. He's not bringing Amusa girls. It was our Igbo girls. Our Igbo girls. Cheap, he cheap wanted people, to very import cheap. into Kuwait. Yes. I, 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 yes. Very cheap. I, I mean, he, he, he was an ambassador here. He went until the information leaked. He went till people start. Some of us, we raise a lamp and the pressure come. I don't know how news, some news agency carried it. He withdrew. He was bringing in here nearly a thousand Igbo girls. And they took money from them. Some and some Yoruba. But he would not bring the Awusa girls for those things. It's our girls they were bringing. And when they bring them here, they abandon them. You will see molestation. You will see sexual harassment. You will, some will go into prostitution. Some will go. Do you understand me? For what? Who is taking responsibility from you? Is there anybody telling you you must come and build? We must remove this mentality. A girl want to build a house in his father as if his father don't have a house. As if he don't have a... There is a difference. You do not have an accommodation. Your parents don't have... Okay, you... That's not, I didn't mean that women should not be, you know, prosperous. They don't want to look for business. But going to go to abroad to at a very younger age, 15 years to do those things. You are not even, you didn't go to go for school. You didn't go to look for a decent job. They are coming professionally for prostitution. Mazi is dehumanizing and it is very painful as a man when you see those things. I mean... It's, it's, it's something we will look into it but i will say for us to start we can start pushing in who are those importing them especially they will bring them scatter them in the west african countries can you believe our Igbo girls are abandoned in mali in burkina faso doing prostitutions in those poor countries Man, say, what, what 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 are those things what can you talk very terrible there were now I go to the last caller, Mazi Anye, Anye Kings. You are the last caller. Please make it brief. Um, go on, please, Mazi Anye Kings. Mazi, Mazi Anye Kings, are you there? Let me see. Mazi Anye, can you hear me? Please go on. Mazianyi, are you there, please? I am talking to you. Mazianyi Kings, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. There, go on, please. Go on, go on, go on. Mazi, go on now. I don't know what is... I don't know all the protocols and I don't know whether let me try to bring you back so that you are you should be the last caller you have been there waiting patiently for so long so that you'll be the last caller please Mazi no I don't know it's okay I think uh, Mazi uh, Chinasa in the absence of that, I think we are going to, you are going to continue if there is any announcement and uh, using closing, making your closing remark, please. Mazi, go on, please. Thank you, Mazi. Mazi, you can hear me. The whole world is hearing you, please. Go on. Um, I want to say some, to this end, I want to correct some impression. This impression, and I want at this every IPOB member, all the media warriors, you can also go to 
the DW, the DW website and my page on Facebook um, and try to let them understand. I think one of them interviewed Mazen Nandekano in Afara Ibeku. One of those DW, um, I think by now, after 10 years, most of them are reporting about the struggle. They're supposed to know who is who. I, I came across, and one of our principal officers draw attention, which I came across it also, um, the report by DW on their page. Um, on Wednesday, they say that Nigerian separatist group, Biafra, has been claiming ownership of Bakasi Peninsula despite the international control that ceded the peninsula to Cameroon, bringing an end to several years of this period. The Biafra group continue to insist that the Bakasi belong to Biafra, and as far there have been constant clashes between them and Cameroonian soldiers. Often patrol the areas Nigeria officially handed over the peninsula to Cameroon in 2008, and about 30% of the residents have since become Cameroonian nationals have your say. Now, we do not have problem on what he reported. Or we do not have problem if there is any Biafra group. But where we have problem is that a novice or for me, this is disinformation. They made the post and they use my as name, the Kano's picture. They say picture speaks volume. They use my as name, the Kano picture and they stated on it, Biafra nations big claims Bakasi Peninsula ownership. I'm using this opportunity to call the DW Africa. I think it's, it's time you people have to be reported accurately, or you can employ a Biafra to give you a vivid report of certain things happening than bringing a white man right from Germany to come here to report what you don't know about. I mean, this is a complete misinformation, and it would be good that BWU respect themselves and correct. There are people who claim this ownership, this Biafran Nations League. They have their leader. Why not use their leader to promote him? Now, internationally, this is an international media platform trying to show that Nandekan is also having problem with Cameroon, fighting Cameroonian soldiers. While Nandekan is still in the detention, what we are saying is use the appropriate, give those who are doing that, give them their credit and leave the picture of Nandekan. He is not the leader of the Biafra League, Nations League. This one we have to understand. And that is what I want to say on DW. Fellow Biafrans and all the lovers of freedom, we have come to the end of this program. And I will make sure that by next week, I would also love to be here. We must continue to disseminate information about the restoration of their But I'm telling you people, be assured. I know some of you, what have happened have shaped most of you, your fate. But I'm asking every one of you, now the coast is clear. Some of you who went back, you retrieved to your shelves because you feel you were confused. You don't know. I think it's time for you to come out. It's time for you to come out to support this struggle. Let me tell you people one thing. The responsibility lies on the shoulders of the leadership of this movement. If you people want us to continue to make positive headway, your support is always highly needed. The stage we are is no matter anything happened cannot be mentioned on the air. But some of you, those things you have in your heart, as no to Huang Nai Roshi, we are entering a year that most of you, I hope you won't change your mouth. 2024, whether they release Mazen Nande Kano, they don't release Mazen Nande Kano, the program has been set. It is Biafra or death. That is why I talk about. We need leaders. We need more hard calls. We need people who have to stand up because the stage we are going, 
there will be no retreat and there will be no surrender. Since they don't want to give us Biafra on the negotiating table, anyhow they want it. For 10 years, we are not going to back, go back. And I want to advise every Biafra, don't ever think that when you denounce Biafra today, the Nigerian government will leave you. They will never leave you. If you denounce, for some of you, let me tell you something. Government doesn't forgive people anyhow. Even if the government forgives you, they have their underground missionaries. They will use to eliminate you. We have to be very, very careful. It is better you don't show yourself that you show yourself and along the line you panic. It is always those that panic that always fail. There is no panic. If you feel you have not married and you want to go and marry and get a child, if you feel, oh, you want somebody to replace, go now marry and confront. Because the journey for freedom is not a journey, you know, for the faint-hearted ones. And to this end, Mazi, I will say, bless every one of us. Bless all those who have stood in the gap during these trial times. We pray that Chukokikadia will hear our prayers for the freedom of our leader. We will do the ones we do as a human being and we will leave the rest in the hands of Chukoki Kadia. And I will say, dear friends, wherever you are, support IPOB, support ESN. Your, you people will be surprised. You'll be surprised. You know, one thing I don't like is people who will speak from both sides of their mouth. You are talking tomorrow, you will see something like, because you want us to come and say everything. What I will tell you is work very hard. Become a leader with a genuine heart and the most of the things. And if you are dedicated in this movement, some of the information, you will have them. Because it will help you to keep your hope alive. It will help you to keep you moving. We don't come to say everything because the enemies are there. And they're already tired. We have weighed them down. They're in confusion. Most of you have seen how they are exposing themselves. These were people they gather. When you hear they are donating to them $20,000, $30,000, you don't know it's Nigerian government. And I said it, I said it on radio here. That's why they continue to push for their fundraisers. Because that is the channel they are using to funnel the money. They give them $20,000, We know all these things. The information were there. But some of you won't believe. And some already knew that something was wrong. One thing ago, I can see her bala hono. I can see her a bala hono. If you are not genuine in this struggle, you will never make it this far. You will never make it this far. We thank you all for listening to us this evening. May you go to Kadiama. Bless every one of you. Catch you for no more again. We don't worry. There were, there were, dear friends and lovers of freedom, we have come to the end of the program. You've heard it from the horse's mouth. We keep on pushing and moving on until we reach our destination. Biafra is our religion, is our ideology, is who we are. We have no other ideology or religion or other place to go other than to continue what we are doing. Thank you for listening. From me, Mars Jonathan Chine, together with Mars Chine Samoru, it is simply good evening. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
the land of the rising sun is a home of hope, a home of hope of the pure France. The far of the eastern land is a promised land, a blessed land of the Chupabia man. Ebeka Bonusi Biafra Ebeka Bonusi Biafra Gaimara Biafra Gane Bozo Kamiri Agaimara Biafra Gane Bozo Kamiri Biafra Gane Zombe Wabuki Anijala Nawama This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name is Mens Mars, and Jonathan Tinedu from Alu Province of Biafra Land. We are here live and direct from this hallowed platform where we say it as it is. This hallowed platform was established by Mazing Namde Kuchukukano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, who is still in the enemy dungeon, in the Nigerian secret police cell, 
solitary confinement since 2021. Remember that Mazin Namdekano has been discharged and acquitted in the Nigerian appeal court. But lo and behold, Nigeria being a banana republic, Nigeria being a country that doesn't obey the rule of law, despite being regarded or called the Federal Republic, they refuse to obey the court order. This court verdict was made on the 13th day of October 2022. Is one year and a few days ago that Mazin Amdekano was discharged and acquitted in the Nigerian court. Remember that Mazin Amdekano has said it several times that the Nigerian court, Nigerian government cannot jail him, that he will defeat them in their own court. Because Mazin Amdekano has not done anything wrong. He has never committed any crime. Self-determination is not a crime. People don't understand this. Because Nigerians are backward. Self-determination is never a crime. You understand? That is why we defeat them in their own cause. Because what they are doing to us as Biafrans, indigenous people of Biafra, Nigerian government is committing crimes against humanity, against us, by killing our people extrajudicially. Have you ever had any Biafran any IPOB member being convicted in the Nigerian court, the answer is no. What they are doing is intimidation, illegal intimidation. Because IPOB, we are here on a peaceful quest for self-determination through a referendum. That is what we are asking. But the Nigerian government has been killing us, destroying our land, our houses, our properties, in order to intimidate us. And we want the international community to speak up against what the Nigerian government is doing us. The same way they are talking about what is going on in the Middle East. Because no life is more superior to other. But lo and behold, Nigerian government has been killing us. We are a people under occupation. Everywhere in Biafra land, you see military checkpoints. In a place there is no war. We have been occupied right from 1970 to today. We are being stifled. And that is, is a calculated you know, move to force us out of our domain, out of our country, Biafra. And that is why we are dispersed all over the world. So that the Fulani will take over. Do you understand? That is what their France has been suffering. But we will continue because there is nothing short of Biafra that we are asking. What we are asking for is a referendum for everybody, for us to determine. And to confirm whether we want to be on our own in our Biafra Republic or not. It is never a crime to agitate, to self-determinate. It's not a crime. Under Nigerian constitution, it's not a crime. Under international law, it's not a crime. African Union law, West African law, it's, not, it's never a crime. Remember, it is through the same referendum in 1961 that some part of Cameroon, Adamawa, became part of Nigeria. In 1961, one time vice president of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar, who is also a pre who was a presidential candidate in 2023 election, 
become a Nigerian through referendum. The same way in the southern part, the place that is called Ambazonia today, they joined the Cameroon through referendum because they were part of Nigeria. So, why is our own difference? What we are asking for, why is it different? No life is superior to other. That is our point. And this is where we are going. The referendum. That is why our leader was extraordinarily renditioned. International crime committed against him, against the Afrans, by taking him. He has, remember Mazen Amdekano, is a holder of British passports. He was renditioned from Kenya down to Nigeria with the complete support of Britain that's supposed to be protecting him as their citizen. But because they are hypocritical, Britain is the country that always lectures the world about rule of law, defending human rights and all this blah 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 nonsense. But they are keeping mute, doing nothing. In the case of Mazen Namdekano, instead they planned it. British M16 intelligence service planned it and backed uh, Nigeria to rendition our leader, to commit international crime. Remember the same Britain protected a criminal in 1980s, I think 82 or 83. In the name of Omar Odiko, a Nigerian citizen that uh, looted billions of dollars and ran away, took the money to Britain. He was never a British citizen. But when he was targeted to be renditioned, to be kidnapped, the same way they kidnapped our leader, Mazin Amdekano, from Kenya to Nigeria, when the then Nigerian government, under the rule of a military leader at that time, Buhari, planned with uh, some Mossad agents hired and re kidnapped him, Omar Udiko, from London, at the airport. He was discovered in a, in a crate in the flight that should be taken off. And what happened? Britain entered into action. They punished the offenders. They protected the criminal. And it evolved into diplomatic uh, uh, problem with Nigeria. People were jailed some eight years, three years, different uh, jail terms. Some were deported, direct, depending on the level of involvement. They protected the criminal, but today, their own citizen, they planned and they executed the plan through the Nigerian Caliphate in order to rendition and rendition Mazen and the Colonel and they love it because they believe that he is uh, blocking their interest. He is opening people's eyes about the mess they created, call, calling it Nigeria. A mess, a complete catastrophe, human catastrophe they created, Britain created. They created a mess. And we want to live our own life. We want to live life like them, like British. They said no. That you must be what we want you to be. Instead, they will be, you know, facilitating visa for people to run away from Nigeria. Do you see how evil, how criminally minded Britain is? They, instead of allowing us, leave us, let us build our own country, let us be who we are and the world so that we don't disturb you. They say, no, no, no. You must be who you, we want you to be. They continue looting the oil and gas in our land. Other natural resources everywhere in Nigeria. Instead, they encourage us to run away from our country. Do you see that? That is the world we are living. And we will not stop talking about it. 
Mazen and the Kano say that we shall continue creating this awareness and we shall wear Britain out. We shall defeat them with superior argument. Many Britons, many British citizens don't understand what their government is doing on their, in their name in order to bring a good life to them. They don't know how they are modern people, including their friends and other people all over the world, stealing and looting so that Brit British uh, citizens will live good life in Britain. Very, very sad indeed. But we will never stop until we get Biafra. Therefore, once again, I welcome each and every one of you to welcome your friends and we wish us onto this special broadcast today. As you may know, today being the 21st day of October 2023. I welcome each and every one of you onto this hallowed platform. Remember that uh, you can hear us direct from FM frequency modulation stations in parts of Biafra land. You can tune in on CHK 102.1. Even as you may know, our FM station has been restored in Enugu. It is back in Enugu. The areas of coverage in Enugu are Enugu East, Enugu South, Enugu North, Unsuka LGA, Nkano East, Nkano South, Nkano West, Nkalago in a Boni State, and some parts of Nike is user and the other places. So, you don't have any excuse not to tune in onto this Halo platform. Because today, Mahasichina Samoru will be here, in a jiffy, in order for us to have interaction. Therefore, call your friends and way wishers, even your enemies, to tune in. If you are in Biafran land, in Enugu and other places in Biafran land, Tune in on our FM 102.1 and you'll be hearing our broadcast live. If you are not hearing us, you are not lucky enough to be getting us on, trans on, on FM in beautiful land, you can just make a, a little sacrifice by downloading IPOB Community Radio. It is a very low data consuming application. IPOB Community Radio. Please, do not miss today's broadcast because it's been a long time and people have been clamoring for the leadership to speak. And today, Mahazichina Sanwuru will be joining me in no distant time in order to talk about issues concerning Biafra, concerning us, concerning our movement. Therefore, we must continue. Also, you can be hearing our voice. You can hear us via free to a satellite. We are there. You can also download Radio Biafra London or TuneIn. Tune in radio, simple radio. All these are applications that you can download in order to be hearing our voice. If you have access to internet connectivity, you can just ask Google how do I listen to Radio Biafra. IPOB Rapture Media is on it. It's one of the options, the Biafra Digest, Biafra Television. All these are to mention but a few that are airing our broadcast live. Therefore, without taking time, I will bring in Mazuchi Nasanwuru onto this hallowed platform in order for us to start the day's business. We shall see whether the lines will be opened. The more we go, we shall see about it. I will bring in Mazichina Samoru onto 